Oh my god. I fucking sneezed immediately. Jesus. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. How is everybody doing? You guys are mad early. Like, I'm live early, and you guys are early. Which is, like, shocking. Like, you guys... Because I started setting up my stream probably around, like, 1.30, and there's still, like, 10 people here. Do y'all just sit here for a half hour waiting for me to fucking go live? Because normally I'm late, too, so you're waiting, like, 40 minutes. That's so ass. Is it really that shocking? It's not that shocking, but it's, like... I'm like, damn, that many people are fucking waiting. I'm always 30 minutes early. That's crazy. Oh, no, he's already out. Hello, everybody flooding in. How is everyone doing on this fine goddamn Sunday? It is reactions today, everybody. It is reactions today. Dub in the chat. We have amazing reactions today, I think. Uh, but we'll see how they end up turning out, because sometimes the, the thumbnails and the titles look good, and then they end up being fucking terrible. Uh, but we're starting off with two fashion shows, two fashion weeks. We might scroll a little bit through it. One is from 2019, one is from 2022. Then we're going into some weird taxidermy videos. Uh, nerds are now alpha males, and school bus safety videos. You guys have been bitching at me for me to watch this video. Uh, so we're finally going to be watching this video. Should be fun. Shrek for the sub. Gains for the sub. I'm going to turn off the alert box, but I will read donos. Uh, I just don't want it to interrupt the videos. Um, somebody said ratio, no viewers. There are people typing in my chat. That means there are viewers. As well as the fact that you typed in my chat. Ratio, no viewers. You would be a viewer. So I I would have a viewer regardless. That was just a stupid fucking comment. Uh, also, what was I going to say? I wasn't going to say anything. I don't remember what the fuck I was going to say. Paul, for the sub, we're just going to start this shit out. Starting off the video, Central St. Martin BA Fashion Show 2019. Reverb for the 500 bits. You're a beautiful man. I got multiverses yesterday, and I, already, I would already crush you, Cap. Wall dog for the 300 bits. Dog on the wall here. Are you going to continue playing multiverses? Yeah, probably. It's Rusty for the sub. I mean, yesterday was a sponsored stream for Multiverses, but that doesn't mean that I'm not going to play the game again. I definitely will. I just don't know when. All right. All right. <laughs> Before we even... I, th this is just going to be stupid shit. Here's my, here's my issue with fashion shows, right? There's two different types of fashion shows. There's fashion shows where they're actually marketing clothing that people will wear, right? Like if it's like Ralph Lauren or something like that, and people will wear the jackets and the sweaters and they'll get models to fucking walk this shit out, right? And then there's these fashion shows where this, I don't, woman, man, non-binary, I only see their legs. Whoever the fuck this person is, they're wearing a balloon, right? Something, I, I don't understand these fashion shows. I've understood ones where they're marketing genuine clothing, but when when they market these fashion shows as like uh, fashion geniuses that are that are putting out stupid shit like this, and people are really recording it and, and like coming out and spending their day watching this shit, not out of irony, out of genuine excitement to see what the new style is, and then some dude walks out in a fucking balloon costume. Are they barefoot? How do they see? Like, how are you? How are you maneuvering in that? Are they wearing tape on their feet? Or, the, dude, how do they see? I would be. I would panic in that costume. And here's my thing. Also, that lady's filming on an iPad fucking mini. Figure it the fuck out, lady. Jesus Christ iPad mini you really brought that to the fucking fashion show also this shit is just absurd 
Like, are are people actually, like, buying this? Like, is this marketable? That's what I'm saying, that the, there's, like, two different things. Like, I don't even think this is for sale. I feel like this is th just them showing off. But they, they're not even really showing off. Like, I, I've never... I, I'm, I'm just gonna keep it real here. The people, the person that made this costume, I don't respect. Like, I, I'm not, I respect them as an individual, but I don't think they're talented. I'm sorry. Like, this isn't talent. I could make this. Any, anyone here could fucking make this shit. Anyone here. Oh my god. Oh, it's gonna transform. Oh my god. It's deflating. It's gonna suffocate them. Oh, no. Oh. Oh. Oh, it's... Oh. <laughs> that... I would rather wear the blue... Dude, that literally looks like you're wearing a trash bag. <laughs> it looks like you're wearing a yellow trash bag. Dude, and they're clapping. They're clapping. Oh my god, look how happy they are. What is, what is, what is appealing? What are you clapping for? There's nothing. There's nothing going on. Oh my god, is there another balloon person? He's got the mustard fit, literally. Oh my god, it's just another one. It's literally just the same exact costume, but blue. And you know what's sad is the dickhead that made these costumes spent probably a year on it. A year on it. A year on the deflation technique for this to, to go from balloon to wearable outfit. I would pop it. No lie, I would bring a pen. Is she gonna deflate it too? And you know why they're walking so damn slow? Because they can't see anything. They're they're blind. Like, they're just walk. They're probably looking at their feet. Just making sure they're walking in a straight line. Oh my god, there's another one. Is there any other outfit? Is it just different fucking balls? Different colored balloon balls? That's, that's the fashion show? That's, that's the, the... What was the shit in 2019? I don't remember this ever kicking up. It's 2022. I don't think this has taken, taken uh, you know, traction. I don't think anybody's really rocking this outfit anytime soon. Removed for the sub Zia, the tip, Dysono, Kazri, Emilio, Nolo for the sub. Go fun, it's Rusty for the sub. King Carrot for the Thrish Bets. Saw some stream in my earbud at work, but I have to leave. Wanted to let you know I would beat you in max donut count if they're Krispy Kreme. You're saying you could out out eat donuts? Uh, that's so cap. That is so cap. I could easily eat a dozen donuts. Devoted for the 300 bets. That's actually cap. I could probably eat half a dozen in like five minutes. And then I would probably pass out. Christian for the 300 bets. When did you start going to the gym? Freshman year in high school. Uh, been wanting to gym and I don't know where to start. Yeah, start your freshman year. I think that's the best. Premium for the sub. Daz for the sub. Steve. Sub. I've ate two dozen donuts in one sitting. That's so fat. That's so fucking cap. That's 24 donuts. You would die. Why are they walking like that? They're trying to, like, walk gracefully. Look how many... Oh, my God. I didn't realize how many people are here. Dude, they're in the fucking second floor watching this shit. They're in the second floor watching this shit, bro. Oh, my God. Oh my god, bad seats to a fashion show? What the fuck is this? Like, it's like a mall. They're in like a mall. Dude, people probably flew out to watch this. You think you would get arrested if you popped it? Oh my god, they did a full loop around in the fucking balloon costume. Oh my god, deflate it. This fucking sucks. This actually sucks. Yeah, they just deflate it. Look, it's the it's another trash bag costume. Oh nah. I think I reacted to this on TikTok. What the fuck?
balloon arms. Is it all latex? Is this like some like latex kink? She, dude, how do you do anything? How do you move your arms? And then it's just more balloon fits. And oh my god, that one looks like a clementine. You look like a wrinkled potato. It's like, it, why is why is the costume deformed? What the fuck? You know she's sweating in that. You know she's sweating in that. Oh my god, dude. It's literally all this. Bro, like, they ran out of ideas. They ran out of ideas. That is literally, this is what I, dude, this is like some dude that was a fashion designer for like 30 years. He has no idea what the fuck he's doing anymore. And he's, now he just takes drugs and fucking writes something down. And then, <laughs> and then, and then it just comes to fruition. This is it. Dude, what? Those are literally just two big crescent balloon moons on your side. And you know the people in the crowd are like, this is revolutionary. I can't believe I'm here witnessing the new fashion. Only for it to be fucking stupid and not the dudes literally ever. It's just, that's a bigger balloon costume. That's the biggest balloon one yet. Is that one going to deflate as well? No, it's just another fucking balloon costume. Holy shit. Maybe maybe Jack Irving will kick it up. This is more recent. This is 2022 fashion chat. Get ready to kick it up. Get ready to kick it up. You got to you got to get on the trend while it's here, right? You don't want you don't want to be behind. You don't want to be behind in fashion. Sharpie for the sub. TFG for the sub. Yeah, about bridge bets. They look like whales. Oh nah. What is this? She looks like the lady with snakes on her head. Is the outfit gonna move? What's with inflatable shit? What's what's the news with inflatable shit? Why are we why are, is that is that like new fashion? Things that inflate? Bro. Bro, she, bro, you look, you look, oh my god. Oh my god. What are those things in the water that you fucking step on? We literally, a sea urchin. You look like a fucking sea urchin. You, like, you can't see. How are you moving? This is not a practical outfit. It also sticks out like 20 feet each way. It's cool. It's cool. But it's not an outfit. You don't need a purse in there. You should have just inflated it around like a ball. That would have been cool. N not that. Not the fact that someone's wearing this. Oh, they're all cheer. Oh, there's the outfit. The revolutionary outfit. The aluminum pan. The aluminum pan that's been bent around her body. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Revolutionary 2022 fashion. Latex balloons around the entire body in an aluminum pan that was fucking strongmen bent around her body. Wow. How much do you think she got paid for this performance? I would need a bag to be able to, ha to have to wear that shit. You would have to pay me a fucking grip. You would have to pay me a grip to wear that shit. I think she got paid probably 10k to walk this. That's worth. That's fucking worth. I would do that for 10k. For 10k, I gotta wear a fucking sea urchin outfit and walk all confident. I'd probably laugh though. I don't know how she stayed serious this whole time. That looks so uncomfortable. Bro, these look like, this looks like those trash bags that people wear when they're working out to sweat more. Oh, she's going to unveil herself. 
and it's going to be the new outfit of 2022. And why are they all wearing their hair like that? <laughs> the Crayola latex fit? What is with latex? What is with like what is with tight like like rubbery clothes? It's the Cray the Crayola fit. The sauna outfit unveiling the Crayola. <laughs> and again, it's literally just the same exact design but different colors. She's wearing the same outfit the other woman was wearing. Yo, she's about to laugh, though. You see that shit. She ain't fucking serious. She said, this shit sucks. Hand me my bag. I can't believe I'm doing this right now. She's about to cry. She fucking killed that. She killed that walk. Oh, she... <laughs> what the fuck was that turn? Oh, she got to do another walk? Oh, that would be the dread. Oh, that would be the death of me if I had to fucking walk back down there again. Oh, fuck that. Removed for the two gifted. You did it too fast, the other per- Is that a boom box? Is that a fucking boom box with spikes out of it? And again, the same rainbow fucking leggings. Oh my god. Like, I don't think anyone actually wears this, though. Like, who's actually... Like, they, no one wears this. Are these things being, like, sold to the public? Or is this just, like, a flex? Like, for, for a company. Is she playing music out of the boombox? Or is it just fucking... Br it, it's, it's not even real. Just a fake boom box. Wait, is that the woman from the beginning? <laughs> they only got two people to agree to this, so they have to swap outfits. They have to... <laughs> Don't tell me the redhead girl comes out next. Oh my god. Oh my god, are they just literally switching outfits in the back? They only could get two people to agree to this. Yo, she came. <laughs> Bro, what the fuck are... Nah, I couldn't wear this. I couldn't wear this. I couldn't wear this. You would have to pay me a bag to wear that. You would have to pay me a bag to wear that. Like, over 10, bro. F to, for me to walk in that squid outfit... The COVID virus. <laughs> that looks so hard to control, too. I feel like she's holding it. Bro, and look at the people recording in awe of, like, how amazing this costume is. I could draw something and make something better in fucking 10 minutes. 10 minutes. Yeah, obviously it would take harder to like put it into production, but like this is not an, this is not a hard idea to come up with. We're going to put tentacles on her and she's going to wear latex like everyone else. That's the same shit. And that, that's literally just a combination of the other fucking outfits. Those are the leggings that they were wearing. It's the same aluminum pan folded around her body. Latex. My God, she looks straight out of anime. She's like a boss battle. This is the final boss, actually, though. That would be, this would be a final boss in a video game. Or like a Pokemon. She really kind of looks like a Pokemon. And she, like, flings those fucking spikes at you. Oh, Jesus Christ. Get it over with. Oh, my God. The fucking... The bat outfit out. What the fuck?
You know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking the people, the only way this could actually be, like, enjoyable to watch is if, A, you're making fun of it, but I don't think they are, or, B, everyone in the audience is on acid. Every single person in the audience is tripping balls right now, and they find this insanely intriguing. Like, there's no, there's no one that's like, I want to wear that. Do a spin move. You look like Gengar. Oh my god. That is literally Gengar. You just read my mind, bro, because it's the same it's the same color scheme and everything. Mega Gengar. And why are they so old? I feel like I feel you, that's that's what's weird about this. The majority of the people in the audience are fucking old. Like, I feel like, I feel like this is, like, new, new age shit, right? Like, I feel like young people would like this. Like, the fact that, like, old people find this, like, good is kind of shocking to me. Like, I feel like everyone in the audience would be, like, a millennial. Or, like, or <laughs> literally, not Gen Z. I feel like Gen Z would think this is, like, a millennial. Like, a late generation millennial. Like, someone, like, that's, like, just turned 30. And they're like, yeah, this is the shit. They're going through, like, a quarter-life crisis or a third-life crisis. Bro, okay, it's getting more Pokemon every fucking... It's getting more Pokemon every single time. Every single time. Dude, this looks like a lightning bolt. I don't think they are the same people, chat. I think they're all different people. I think they all just have the same exact hair squiggle. Pikachu's tail. Yeah. Everything's in inspired by Pokemon. Would you rather wear this or a fursuit? For a whole day. A whole day you wear this or a fursuit. I would rather wear a fursuit. I think because a fur this would be annoying, right? A fursuit, I could go about my day, right? I'm going to sweat my ass off in a fursuit. But, like, I could go about my day. In this, like, say I want to walk into a building, like, I'm going to have to, like, lean forward and, like, Naruto run in <laughs> into the building because, like, this, this stands, like, 12 feet tall. Sarome for the sub, XT for the sub. Dude, there's fucking a metal cage on the back because it's probably that fucking heavy. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Terminator. Every, every, it, dude, it, like, they're not even original. They're, like, shitty ideas, and they're, like, stolen shitty ideas. Like, you literally look like Terminator. Or, like, or like one of those ones, or, like, Tron. What's that movie where they have that dumbass fucking, like, it's like a glass. Is it Tron? Where they have those dumbass glasses that, like, go over their face. Robocop. That's what it is. I was saying Terminator. It's Robocop. Yeah, you literally look like RoboCop, bro. Like, you deadass look like RoboCop. Like, same headpiece. And if she's too tall, she knows that shit ain't fit. Look at her smiling. Look at her smiling. That shit ain't fit on her. That shit ain't fit on her, bro. She's too short. Look, look how badly designed that fucking outfit is. Oh my god. Oh my fucking god. She can't walk in it. Bro, she's smiling. I wouldn't be able to keep a straight face. Because the thing moves when she moves. Look, her, you can see her eyes. It should be a face shield. Yeah, this, this one was the worst. This one was the worst by far.
All right, we don't need to see it again. We don't need to see it again. <laughs> Bro, same shit. I don't even need to see that one. It's the same thing. Same thing. Show me something different. Oh, my God. That's a death trap. Those look sharp. Oh, do they spin as she walks? Okay, that's kind of sick. Okay, that's kind of sick, though. That's kind of sick, though. It's like a Beyblade. They're spinning. Another Gengar. Another weird headpiece. Another weird tentacle outfit. Another octopus outfit. They're all the same. Like, bro, like, come up with something different. Like, it's all just like, what are we going to do for this year? Says to Jack Irving. I guess he's the fashion dude. Yo, Jack Irving, what are we doing this year for fashion? Tentacles. Cool. And then they make 35 outfits with fucking tentacles. And then they just, uh, and then they just ship it. Let's make them spin. Wow, revolutionary. Oh, are they all going to walk out at once? Wow. They are all different people. Jesus Christ. That was, fu that was fucking terrible. That was, look at this. This is probably normal. Look, Ralph Lauren. Look at this one. This one's probably fucking normal. Look. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, look. I, oh, look. A marketable outfit. A marketable outfit. Wow. A man in a suit. Wow. A nice, a nice long, what is that called? What is that called? A, a coat something? A suit? Uh, it's not a, it's not a pant. It's not a pant jacket. What is that called? I don't even know. Already better. Look at this. Wearable outfits. I don't know about that one. That one's a bit weird. But, I, you know, a little turtleneck. You know, okay, that one's... I don't know about that one. But, you know, like, wearable outfits. Wearable outfits. Like, wow. Like, actual, like, fashion. Okay, you got a cowboy hat? With that? I don't know about that one. That one That one was a bit weird. Okay, why are we just wearing cowboy hats with everything now? But, like, the, like I would wear these outfits. Like, I would wear, like... I would wear these outfits. Like, they don't look bad. Like, you could sell them. Okay, that dude's just ready for prom. What the fuck is this? What the fuck is this jackass doing? V Corp for the sub. One ST for the sub. Jake for the sub. See, but like, that's like, that's stuff I would wear. Joe is a furry confirmed. No. Cookie Crisp for the 300 bets. I was watching your VOD where you gave that kid $5. I'm telling you, I just need a thousand for some Valorant skins. Oh, yeah, for sure. All right. Next video. What it takes to be a taxidermist. Is this, are we allowed? Do you think this would be TOS chat? I don't think it would be, right? Taxidermy is just a profession. I think you just have to be accepting that death is just part of life and that death doesn't have to be the end. I think taxidermists often feel like everyone else sees death as this more tragic Are you blow-drying a dead squirrel that you ripped out its organs and stuffed? Being a taxidermist has to be the last profession. I would rather I would rather shovel shit than be a taxidermist. Like no lie. Like I I would rather shovel shit than have to rip out an animal's inside, stuff it and then like form it to like look cool. Like I don't get that shit. Like I've never the only thing I would ever want in my entire life is a bear rug. But I wouldn't want to kill a bear. Give me a bear that died of old age. You know what I mean? Give me a bear that died at like 25, right? Don't kill it. Give me a dead bear. Like, I don't, I, you know, I would have a bear rug. That would be pretty cool. But like when people have like a moose head just sticking out of their fucking wall, I'm like, bravo. Why? I, yeah, I shot that in 09. Cool. You killed a moose fucking, uh, what, 13 years ago? Why do you have it on your wall? Fucking eat it. And then get rid of it. Thing and that it's the end, and that we see it as an opportunity for a new beginning. So it's not the end. Oh my god! Oh my god! Are you fucking? Are you taking pictures of it? What are you gonna sell it? Who the fuck is gonna buy a taxidermied squirrel? What it takes to be a taxidermist. Taxa. Dermy means the arrangement of skin. Basically, you're removing the skin from the specimen, 
and then you're cleaning um, and preparing them. I thought they ripped its insides out. They peel it like an orange. Oh, how do you do that? They peel it and then put it. Oh, my God. I didn't know they did that. I thought they. Oh, my God. That's probably easier. I thought they, like, drilled a hole and, like, ripped out its fucking intestines. <laughs> and then, like, like stuffed it. Oh, my God. The skin. Then you're moving it onto a mannequin or form. Ancient Egyptians were the precursory taxidermist. Although they didn't actually remove the skin, they embalmed bodies of animals using injections, spices, and essential But they didn't do taxidermy. They mummified cats because they were seen as a sign of good luck and things like that and things they wanted to bring into the underworld. Or not the underworld, the afterlife. Like, that's why Egyptians did that shit. You would get buried with your pets and stuff like that. Like, you, like, I understand that, but like, like, you're, now, now we're, now I'm just gonna have one on my desk, like it's a fucking trophy, I'm just gonna have a fucking squirrel, it's not TOS, there's no gore, this is not TOS, at all, for the fucking idiots that are saying that, half the people saying TOS don't even know what TOS stands for, shiny for the sub, I mean, Emma for the sub, low for the 300 bits, would you wear a dress in public, I don't know, depends what the dress looks like, oils, they also used salts found in lakes in the lower region of Egypt to preserve skin, specifically borate of soda and sulfate of soda. Many, many centuries later, taxidermists like Amber use borate of soda. How much do taxidermists make? How much do taxidermists make? Is this, is this a feasible career? Like how? I don't think that's like a bustling. Yeah, 36 rand a year. I don't think that's like a bustling profession. Or, you know what I mean? Like, I don't think, I don't think taxidermists are just, oh my god, I'm t I got so many orders for my dead cat. Like, uh, what the fuck? Borax, a white powder and tanning formula is to treat animal skins. It's a powder preservative that gets put on the inside of the skin before it gets mounted onto the mannequin. Would you get your pet taxidermied, chat? If you have a pet, when your pet dies, would you get your pet taxidermied? Never. Literally never. I feel like that's disrespectful. I'm gonna skin my my dead dog and I'm gonna form it around a fucking mold and leave it in my house for eternity. No. Uh Jacob for the 400 bits. Love your TikToks and Twitch streams. Keep it up. Thank you. Uh I KX for the sub uh with Prime. Yeah, I would never do that. Um, maybe, like, the only thing I can understand is when people, like, hunt and they get it taxidermied, like, a moose on a wall or something. But, like, even then, I feel like that's just weird. Can and this is going to keep it from decomposing. It's going to dry it out. It's going to keep any pests from being interested in it. Then when you have thicker-skinned animals, like a deer or fatty animals, like a bear or raccoon, uh, they need to go through a wet tanning process. So that would basically be um, using a liquid tan and submerging it in it for a number of days. Once How do you get into this profession? Are, are all taxidermists people that are, like, obsessed with, like, dead things? Because, like, I don't, I don't see, like, oh, I, I'm an accountant or something. Like, oh, I could see how you got into accounting. But, like, how do you get into, like, peeling the skin off of animals and... <laughs> And putting it on uh, a mold. Hunters? Maybe. Maybe. That would be like the only actual thing. That or like you're obsessed with shit. Those skins are tanned. They can be mounted. Placed on a mannequin that is carefully sculpted to accurately portray the body of an animal. Mount your skin onto the mannequin. Sew it up. Blow dry it. You know, pose it. Let it dry. Amber earned her taxidermy license after apprenticing under a professional. You have to apprentice under someone and get a license to taxidermy? What the fuck? Why do you need a license to fucking rip the skin off of animals? Trades. Skills are passed from teachers. Actually, never mind. That was a stupid question. I could see why you need a license for that. Because if you just went around every day ripping the skin off of dead animals, you would kind of seem like a psychopath.
apprentice. And Amber intends to continue that tradition. I learn by doing it hands-on, so by experiencing it hands-on by someone who knows what they're talking about, I think that's really important. And I saw a niche there in the market of, you know, people who wanted to learn this trade. Amber's Brooklyn tax. Was that $8? intends to continue that tradition. I learn by doing it hands-on. So How much is a taxidermy animal? Hands-on by someone who knows what they're talking about. I think that's really important. And I saw a niche there in the market of, you know, people. $150 for a fucking rat. A hundred and fifty beans for a rat wearing a fucking hat. We wanted to learn this. 180 for chipmunks trade. and Amber's 200 for a fucking squirrel. I would just go kill a squirrel in my backyard instead. You're out of your goddamn mind if you think I'm paying $200 for a dead squirrel. It's Brooklyn tax. <laughs> Dermy is one of two taxidermy studios in New York City, but she's not like traditional taxidermists who work with hunted game. Instead, she uses frozen feeder animals that would be used to feed reptiles, euthanized animals from the NYC Animal Care Center, deceased animals from zoo and wildlife preserves as well as pet stores, deceased house pets, and leftovers from Okay, butcher. so it's more humane. It's more humane. She's not getting she's not taxidermying hunted animals. She's taxidermying things that would have died anyway. So it's a really symbiotic relationship. Butcher sees the insides and they would throw out the skins, the antlers, so otherwise they would go in the trash. So then I use those parts. So that would be, you know, rabbits, quails, pheasants, ducks, goats, deer, anything you could eat. Amber's freezer is stuffed to the brim with rats, butterflies, and other deceased animals. But who's buying a dead rat? Who's like, you know what my house is missing? A rat with a hat. You know what? Oh, I, you know what I just watched? Ratatouille. You know, I might buy a taxidermied rat. I might, you know, I might spend $200 on a fucking rat with a, a genie hat on. No. You're out of your mind. A rat in the hat, like cat in the hat. These are innards Oil from for the, sub. the squirrel that was skinned today. So these go to um, my friend's pets who have pet snakes, or they go to the zoo on the cross the street. Oh, she skins it herself. Animals she'll bring to life in a days long process that includes gutting, skinning, mounting, and everything in between. It takes a whole day to do one squirrel. Oh my god, no shit it costs $200. Spend a whole fucking day doing a goddamn squirrel? That sucks. How long does a fucking moose take? Probably like a week. Like many taxidermists, Amber entered the trade as a curious amateur. My friends who have worked for me from a long time ago, you're like, um, give that back. Put it in a bonfire. Oh, the class was 200, not the final product. I'm Googling how much a taxidermy, a taxidermy, uh, taxidermy squirrel price. Taxidermy squirrel on Etsy is still $180. Let me open this image. Chat, is this worth a purchase? The cowboy chipmunk. <laughs> Bro, someone made this. That is. <laughs> Did they put the soda to show how big it is? Like, everybody knows how big a fucking chipmunk is. Or this shit. Why are they all fucking weird? What is, what is this creativity shit? This motherfucker's ripping a stogie in a cowboy costume. He's $300. Why would I want this? <laughs> this is some shit your grandparents would buy you. This is like, this is like for Christmas and you're, you think your grandma got you like a gift card and you fucking open it and it's just a fucking taxidermy chipmunk. Oh, I heard you like cowboy movies. I thought you'd like this. Dude, there's so much taxidermy shit on Etsy. That's kind of creepy. That's, like, really creepy. How much is, like, a moose head? If a squirrel's $200. Oh, 
A moose head must be like a grip. A taxidermied moose head can cost up to two thousand dollars. Why would I want that? It'll make you anyone. I guess I was just doing it as it's a bad hobby, for the and it just kind of grew. And then I kept, you know, buying dilapidated pieces or broken pieces or dirty pieces from a stoop sale or flea market trying to figure out how to fix them, getting books and YouTube videos on how to do it. When am I playing The Walking Dead again? Wednesday. And went to school for it. There's a wealth of knowledge online. Manuals listing tools and how to use them, directions on how to skin and preserve mammals and birds, and instructions on how to make models and mannequins. And taxidermy has played a role in history. One look through a natural history museum and you'll see various exotic trophy hunted animals lining the floors. In the 1800s. Yeah, but the only time I see like taxidermy making sense is when they taxidermy like a fucking saber toothed tiger. But even then, that's fake. They're just recreating it because their skin's probably not there anymore. It's scientists use taxidermy to. Study that's what I would have a taxidermy saber toothed tiger. I would have that in my fucking house. That would be sick. Taxidermy saber tooth tiger price. How much do you think that's going to run me up? You could get a skull of a saber-toothed tiger for $400. Oh, but it's artificial. Ew. I would want a real one. Animals outside of their geographical for the sub. region. Get a mammoth. <laughs> an artificial mammoth. Just to take up an entire room. Natural history museums have pivoted away from this outdated practice. The Smithsonian in D.C. declined to replace its last full-time taxidermist and instead opted to hire freelance taxidermists for exhibit repairs only. And maybe a mounted deer head on a wall comes to mind as well? Taxidermy and hunting have long gone hand in hand. In many cases, bigger mammals mounted from the neck up- But I don't know if- if I shot a deer, I don't know if I would want to keep it. <laughs> I feel like that would be like guilt, you know what I mean? Like, if I shot a deer and ate it, whatever. If I shot a deer, ate it, taxidermied its head, and it sat there forever, I would look, I would be like, it's looking at me. Like, it's, it, like, Jesus. Be eaten. Artistic taxidermy took an eccentric route in the Victorian You do it era. if it's a big deer, yeah, because it's like a bragging right. Like, oh, look at, look at that one I hit. That was a 310. With the introduction of anthropomorphic taxidermy. Picture cats dressed. Okay, see, I would buy that. I would buy that. With the I would buy that. Introduction of anthropomorphic taxidermy. I would buy that. That's funny. That's funny. That's funny. I would buy something like that. It's not just the rat, but it's like the rat doing something uh, funny. <laughs> Picture cats dressed for a wedding or magician mice. A lot of taxidermists today create anthropomorphic taxidermy. Yeah, because it's the only thing people would want to fucking of, buy. You know, possibilities. I'll never feel like I'm good enough. I'll never feel like I'm done learning. There's so many different animals and species and things to explore and try. Giving another a second life or sometimes a, a third rat life. with a mini rocket launcher. I would buy that. Life to animals, paying them like some homage, some honor to you know show them in a realistic way. See, that squirrel's ugly as fuck though. All right, next. Would you turn your cat into a drone? Real stories. We're keeping the taxidermy theme for the next two videos. I'm uh, I'm Cody for the sub, or I'm Kodo for the sub. Little Jam, 300 bits. What do you think that vegan teacher would think about this video? She'd be very upset. Uh, Nasal for the 500 bits. Would you rather have a taxidermy lion or tiger? Probably a tiger. Garrett for the 300 bits. Can you say hi to Taylor and Garrett? Hello. Uh, Max for the 300 bits. Daigle's 300 bits. Taxidermy also takes years to come in. My moose I shot last year won't come in until 2024. See, that's so annoying. Like, you got to pay that much money and it's not going to come in. I'm pressed I missed both of the streams when I'm going to watch the VODs after this. Uh, w, Firewing. I'm sorry you missed the streams, though. King Potato for the sub. Phoenix for the... Is that three gifted? Thank you for the three gifted subs, Phoenix. See, now this is just fucked up. Like, there's no... There's no... <laughs> There's no scenario where I'm gonna say, yeah, my pet cat, I'm gonna I'm gonna elongate his legs and shove him on my drone.
His pussycat had four propellers placed into its paws. And I wanted to know what kind of man would do this to his own pet. One day, Orville got killed by a car just around the corner here. But I immediately knew that as soon as we had his body, that I was going to do something with him. Yeah, why not just, uh, I don't know, get a regular taxidermy if you're going to do anything or bury him? Not put him on your drone? What if you crash the drone, too? King for this. Make a point out of his untimely death. Oh, my God. There he is. Orville Copter. And some taxidermist agreed to do that. This dude went to a taxidermist and said, hey, can you shove my cat's skin onto this drone? And they were like, yeah, sure thing. 300. With a local engineer. Called to be fair, if I was a taxidermist already and someone wanted to pay me $300 to put their cat's skin on a drone, I would probably do it. Like, <laughs> like you're already in the profession. Darian. It's just money at that point. What? had created the world's first remote-controlled flying dead cat. We're, we're made of stuff, and if you die, you, you, you end up as stuff, and you can do things to that oh stuff. Oh my god, why are you doing it to a rat? You just jam the pole through its body. That's not, e that's not even creative. You just pierced it. To, to, to keep it around. One day it was just dead in the backyard. Oh, mother's milk. I wanted to make a cheese out of that. Breast milk? Yeah. As in your partner's breast milk? Or... Yeah. Okay, now nah, this guy's just a freak. Nah, nah, he's got that. Nah, bro. He just said he's going to make cheese out of his, out of his girlfriend's be breast milk. Nah, bro. You got that shit just, like, cased in there. I killed. Oh, That's your girl. That's a lot of fucking breast milk. Mother's milk. I wanted to make a cheese out of that. Breast milk? Yeah. As in your partner's breast milk? Or... Yeah. I remember when one of my grandmas dr died that I stood there at the bed and I saw the body of my, of my grandma, the woman that we all loved as kids. But I couldn't resist prodding her. It's like, what does it feel like? You saw your grandma dead and you just started poking her? When you're not here anymore, it was stiff and cold and I wanted to know. Was it difficult? Oh cutting? my god, not the other cat smelling the dead cat drone. Up your own pet. I have no problem taking the skin off a cat, even my own cat. After it's dead, it's not a cat anymore. It's just carbon i mean he's right at that right like once it's dead it's not there anymore but it's still kind of fucking weird like like because he just said oh once it's dead i don't have a problem with it like are you saying that you would skin a human too and that's like that's the next video we're watching a vsauce video on why don't we taxidermy people but like dude in a shape a cat shape Bart invited me into his shed, where it became clear that his cat was not the first animal he'd been trying to make fly, and certainly wasn't. Oh his my mark. God, an ostrich! Where did you get that? An ostrich drone? It's an ostrich. <laughs> oh my God, that's fucking massive! Is that its asshole Having that you just like every sealed with like paint? Dude. Stritch farm in the Netherlands. Bart eventually got his hands on one that had died during the cold winter months. It's got a 50 kilo lift and it's 12,000 watts. But like, why? Like, I can see why. I understand people liking drones and I could get people being into taxidermy. But why combine the two? They're very unalike in every single way. Sailor for the sub. Where did he get the ostrich? It was a dead one that died in the winter or some shit.
I was witnessing the world's most famous flightless bird taking to the skies. Is that why he did it? When I was a kid, I wanted to be an, an ostrich can't fly. He wanted to make an ostrich fly. Venter. I'm making things fly that usually can't. And it's wonderful just to stand outside and all the, the parents with kids, they just gather around and they laugh and they make pictures and they talk about it for two days afterwards. I wouldn't what laugh. I would say, I, would, I wouldn't laugh. I would walk up to him. I would say, can I interview you on why the fuck you think... <laughs> You, you just wanted to do this out of nowhere. That's, that's a very, very good feeling. And I know the ostrich would have wanted it no other way. What Bart and Arian were doing was clearly bizarre. And to some people, even offensive. But I don't think it's offensive. I just think it's odd. They were far from alone. Creations from dead creatures had become popular around the world. From expensive art to eBay auctions. Social media sites with hundreds of thousands of followers were dedicated to the That is so fucking scary. Is that a fox? World's weirdest taxidermy. With fashion and interior design pushing the trend, I wondered if death had now become a legitimate business. Death? Okay, that was just a stupid fucking question. Death has always been a business. Funeral homes make a fucking shitload of money. If you live in, like, a decently non-wealthy, like, city, the dude that runs the funeral home in the city you live in is probably rich. Like, funeral home, funeral, everybody makes money off death. Death is a thing that people make money off of. Being cremated, uh, burials, uh, fucking funeral services cost a shitload of money. The caskets cost 10 grand. That's a normal thing. Taxidermy is just weirder because you're not burying someone. You're fucking stuffing them or something like that. Puperty for the 300 bits. Look up Swedish king taxidermied lion. Oh, nah. Is that real? Is this like a very old taxidermied lion and it just looks so bad because they were really bad at it then? Like, that is fucking... That is awful. Oh my god. This taxidermied lion is from 1720... 1731. It was a gift. If someone get, I don't care if I lived in 1731. Somebody gives me a gift of this shit. Oh my god, imagine the king of Sweden. It, it was for the king of Sweden. Imagine the king of Sweden's never seen a tiger and, he, and this is what he think it actually looks like. <laughs> wow. That's a lion? I never would have thought. Oh my god, dude. That's fucking hilarious. All right. True for the 400 bets. I saw a dog drown once and I'm still traumatized. When did you see a dog drown? It's ready for the 300 bits. Uh, why don't we taxidermy humans? This is an old Vsauce video. I don't know if you guys have seen it. I've never seen it. Hey, Vsauce, Michael here. And when you up, die, what happens to your body? You're cremated. It can be buried, buried. or cremated. Or Would you rather be buried or cremated? Cremated, for those of the people that don't know, is when they burn you. Uh, and then they put your ashes in an urn. I might, I would maybe want to be cremated, in all honesty. Maybe cremated, and then you fucking, you throw my, sh you throw my body somewhere. You know what I mean? Cook me into a cake. And then trick someone into eating me. That's fucked up. But I feel like that'd be a pretty funny way to go. You know what I mean? Something like that. You cremate me, you sprinkle my ashes somewhere. Something like that. I feel like buried. A lot of people say like, oh, buried, because like it's fucked up to burn your body. But, like, at the end of the day, if you're buried, you're spending more money on being buried. And, and, uh, you're just going to decompose anyway. Like, if you dug up a grave from, like, 100 years ago, it's just a skeleton. Uh, that's, that has, like, it smells bad. 
Like, it's not you. You know what I mean? So, like, at that point, just cremate yourself, in my opinion. I don't know. Maybe. I haven't decided whether or not I would want to be buried or cremated yet. Uh, <laughs> I feel like that's way to later down the line. Or donated to science. Cremate me and smoke me? Oh, nah. Cremate me and put me in a fucking joint? Jesus Christ. That's disgusting. That would be a lot, bro. But are those your only options? I mean, if you get cremated, it's going to be 100%. It's not only your ashes there. That's not necessarily true. That's very that's very true with pets. If you cremate your pet, uh, they just throw you in like a, a bunch of ashes and then give you ashes back. But if you cremate your own body and you're like going to a good cremation place, they'll clean it out before they burn your body. They're not just going to keep throwing shit into a fucking oven and, and then and then sprinkle some ashes. Here, here's a pound of ashes. It's 10 people in it. What if I wanted to be... And at the end of the day, it's not you anyway, so who really cares? They're burning you. The ashes are symbolic. Once you're burnt, it, your ashes and someone else's ashes are exactly the same. You're both just matter at that point. Taxidermied, like my friend here. What if I requested to have my body stuffed and mounted in some hilarious position? Like Is that legal? If, I re if you requested to be ta- Can you taxidermy... A human. It is illegal to taxidermy or mount a human in the United States. That's in the United States, though. Did y'all ever hear about that story of the woman who taxidermied her son uh, holding a soccer ball? And she didn't tell the husband that he died because they were divorced? I don't think I can show the picture of it because it would literally be a dead person. Springy for the five gifted dub. Uh, but you can look it up yourself. There was a woman who divorced her her husband, right? And their son died somehow, and he loved playing soccer. And she taxidermied him in her own home. It wasn't the U.S. It was somewhere else, I'm pretty sure. Uh, let me actually look it up. Taxidermied person holding soccer ball. It ain't going to show up. I look up taxidermy person holding a soccer ball, and it shows me people holding a soccer ball. Woman who taxidermied her son. Okay, that comes up. Oh, yeah, there it is. I can't show that. That is so fucking weird, though. Oh, my God. That is so fucking weird, though. And they did it with, like, rappers, too. This family embalmed their loved one to look alive at his funeral. Oh, my God, dude. There's so many weird-ass pictures of people that, like, literally taxidermied their like brother or son in like a fuck i can't show that i think that would be tos that literally it's a dead person i can't i can't show that a permanent high five so people could high five my actual skin forever well it turns out to be quite complicated so let's begin with an easier and more flexible solution cremation and ashes 12 humans have walked on the moon, but 300 humans have been buried in outer space. With the right connections and budget, you can have a portion of your ashes launched into space. I'm doing that. Problem solved. I'm doing that. Problem solved. Okay, I know what I'm doing. I said I didn't know. Now I know. That's what I'm doing. Dude, they'll shoot me into outer space? That's fucking sick. That's fucking dope. They'll, th they'll fucking shoot me into the sky? Oh, that's amazing. Put me in a firework. Yo! I can do that. If I don't have the money to send my ashes to space, put my ashes in a firework. Blow me the fuck up. The very first space burial occurred in 1997, when a rocket deposited the ashes of 24 people into orbit around Earth. In 1999, human remains were first buried on the moon. Wow. A lunar prospector probe dropped some scientific instruments and some of the cremated remains of Eugene Shoemaker, co-discoverer of the comet Shoemaker-Levy 9. But the first human to have their remains leave our solar system will be Clyde Tombaugh, the guy who discovered Pluto. In 2006, some of his ashes were launched aboard the New Horizons probe, which will arrive near Pluto in 2015, take some recordings and pictures, and then continue on beyond 
our solar system. That's so sick. Though. You don't need to get all outer spacey to have fun with your ashes. Right here on Earth, there are companies that will take carbon from your remains and expose them to extreme heat and pressure long enough that you wind up with a diamond made out of you. It can be cut and polished. One woman e Why has no one told me all these cool ways to go? Well, I mean, you're not dying that way. That is sick. I could be launched into outer space. They can make me into a diamond. But then someone would buy me. You know, I wouldn't now because then what if like see, you know what you know what you know what would piss me off? If I paid for that and then like they gave it to like my uh like my family and then my family sold the diamond that was me that would piss me off melvin for the sub ganavi for the sub man for the sub omer three uh for the three what do you think of the trend of you um i mean it, it's kind of overdone now but it was initially funny springy for the thousand bits congrats on, for a mill on youtube been watching you for a while never disappoint thank you even had it done with the ashes of meowie her cat the point here is that you can be quite creative with cremated remains. But ashes don't look like you did when you were alive. So let's revisit- Yeah, but then when you bury someone, it don't matter anyway, because in a fucking year after you're buried, you're going to look gross. You're, you're, you're not going to be you. Taxidermy. The shapes and combinations that animals have been taxidermied into- Okay, that's into sick. That's it. That is sick. What is that? A bird? A bird? Turtle? Squirrel? A baturd squirrel are quite creative. For instance, an actual pig turned into an actual piggy bank. A bird light fixture. A goat that's also a bagpipe. Doves turned into shoes. And of course, who the fuck would wear that? A dove shoes? The guy who taxidermied his cat into a remote controlled quad. We just watched that. Taxidermy doesn't preserve every part of your body. It is taxidermy, the arrangement of skin, which is okay. I mean, taxidermy won't bother to preserve all of your internal organs, but your skin is your largest organ. Your skin comprises anywhere from 12 to 15% of your total body weight. Plus, it's an organ that people see and recognize you by. But here's one of the problems. When animals are taxidermied, their skin is removed and then mounted on a mannequin, a shape that resembles the animal, but is made of wood or wool and wire or wow. foam. That's fine for museums, but the use of a generic mannequin can lead to an animal that looks generic. All of the- Oh, you would look fucking weird. Because they wouldn't be able to make it look like you. Because they would peel your skin off, and then they would put it on a mannequin. Because, like, all deer look very similar, right? But then humans have, like, different facial features. So they would put it on you, and you would look fucking- de Oh, you would look deformed. Tiny, subtle, from your regular cell. features of the animal's cartilage, fat, muscles, are more difficult to recreate after it's dead, oh, no. and all you have is what its... What the fuck is that? That one looks normal. What the hell happened to that one? <laughs> Was this the second try? Jesus Christ. Again, that's why many taxidermists hesitate to taxidermy a person's beloved pet. Because in order to satisfy the client, an immense amount of specificity is required. Even more so if you were trying to recreate a person. So taxidermy may not be the best way to preserve yourself or your daddy or your mummy mummies what about them well let's go back to the 19th century and jeremy bentham dude how vsauce transitions is so weird he'll just say your dad like it's it's like obviously awkward that he's saying that and then it just transitions to something mummies and then he goes to something else when he died the this shit is boring as hell then don't be here. <laughs> then don't be here. That's, oh, that is so awesome. That looks cool as fuck. This shit boring as hell. Talk about switching up much. Jesus fucking Christ. That looks so fucking cool. This shit's boring as fuck. Like, pick one. Is it boring or is it cool? 
Lucifer requested that his body be mummified as best as technology would allow, and his body dressed up in clothes and displayed at the University College of London. It periodically still is, but the mummification didn't turn out perfectly, so he don't know, don't know, don't know. Dude, you gotta wait a minute. Like, other people wait, like, 10 minutes. Toasted for the 400 bits. Like, I'm just trying to get... I, I read it, like, sporadically. Got my arm amputated, got it cremated, made it into an engagement ring for my girlfriend. Should I tell her? You purposely got your arm amputated and cremated into an engagement ring? How big would that diamond even be? QB for the sub and Crucible for the 500 bits. I always thought taxidermy was a type of job in law. I'm now realizing that's attorney. Yeah. Two different things. He's really and thank just... you for the 500 bets. Garbage devil for the 20 gifted subs. What the fuck? Garbage underscore devil. Thank you for the fucking 20 gifted, bro. That was out of nowhere. Oh my god, that's a dub. Thank you. Holy shit. Dub in the fucking chat. Thank you, Garbage Devil. Thank them if you got a sub, if you're one of the 20 people. Uh, Jake for the three bits. Common Joe W for watching Vsauce. Oh yeah, you fucking love Vsauce. I forgot that. Uh, Garbage for the 20 gifted, though. Thank you again. That is fucking insane. Thank him if you got a sub. I didn't expect that. That was actually out of nowhere. A skeleton dressed up in clothes and stuffed. Is that him?! head wound up looking a bit too wrinkled and the color was off and so a wax head was made. You can check out a 3D photograph of Jeremy Bentham online. And who could forget the dried out mummified middle finger of Galileo? We still have it and it's on display in Florence. It's a great- How do they have that? Galileo, it was so long ago. When was that motherfucker alive? S the 1500s. He died in 1642. How did they get, how did they obtain his middle finger? Great thing to visit if you want a pivotal historical figure to flip you off. But we're looking for a way to preserve ourselves realistically as we appear while living. So let's take a look at embalming. Not all corpses are embalmed before they're buried, but embalming is a great technique for preserving a body, slowing down decomposition so it can stay above ground and be displayed a little bit longer. Now, if a body is embalmed it's for really, funerals. really well. It's for funeral viewings. Embalming is when they, they pump shit, they pump embalming fluid uh, in place of your blood. It slows down decomposition and then they can display you for... Um, uh, viewing if your if your wishes were to be viewed at the time of your death acorn for the sub it's shorty for the 500 bits This is so weird. Yeah uh, Hen for the 300 bits Vsauce is one of my favorite youtubers his videos are absolutely timeless There's no other YouTube who tw youtuber who 12 year old videos. I could re-watch I watched them at eight years old or six months ago He's not problematic just wants to learn. Yeah wants us to learn exactly. I think his videos like literally aren't Like they're not trendy. It's literally just like anything it can be preserved longer than you might think. Abraham Lincoln was embalmed so well that even though his coffin has been moved 17 times since he was buried and the casket opened five times, on each of those occasions, including the most recent in 1901, people said, yeah, still looks like Lincoln. Nah, take a picture. I want to see what he looks like. Take a picture. Well the most recent in 1901 that was a while ago i'm going to say i'm going to say from then he probably has uh, aged a bit from then that was a while ago um acorn for the sub seth for the 1000 bits i'm going to embalm okay i'm going to embalm you mean taxidermy because embalm, you wouldn't embalm, you're saying you're going to embalm your genitals. That's not, you don't embalm them. You would embalm your whole body. On an even more extreme scale are the bodies of people like... How would Matt they take a picture of Abraham Lincoln? Uh, I don't know. How did, they, how did they take a picture of them opening the casket, you fucking idiot? They had pictures before 1901. When was the first photograph taken? In like the 1800s. 1826. This is the first photo. 
This is one of the first photos, not the first photo. This is from, this is over, this is almost 200 years ago. They took this picture. They had pictures in 1826. You're acting, you're acting like they didn't have a camera until an iPhone. Now and linen, which continue to be on display to this day. They still have uh, Kim Jong-un's dad on display, don't they? And they say he's like immortal. Still looks like Lincoln. On an even more extreme scale are the bodies of people like Mao and Lenin, which continue to be on display to this day. Wow. The bodies require special treatments multiple times a week. The exact techniques and embalming fluids used... Oh, they treat it every week? ...to preserve Lenin are for kept sub. secret, but they've kept him preserved for more than 80 years. Wait, he looks like that now? 80 years? Lenin. Vladimir Lenin. When did Vladimir Lenin die? And why are they preserving his body? He died in 1924. Wow. And they still got his body like that. That is insane. Well embalmed bodies can be displayed. This mad being... boring? That's cool. Don't watch the video. Come back in five minutes. It'll be done. Buried in more positions than just lying down in a coffin. For instance, leaned up against a wall or riding a motorcycle. See, like, bro, you're really gonna embalm a body riding a motorcycle? But embalming doesn't last forever. And if you try to make it last forever, be prepared to spend a lot of money and time. One method that could be used on humans and has become popular with pets is similar to instant coffee freeze drying. The process involves freezing the animal so that all of its water solidifies and then using a partial vacuum with a pressure so low that the solid water instantly turns into vapor and escapes away. Leaving oh, then it can't rot and it's just like fucking dry ass. It's like beef jerky. Your skin would be fucking weird looking though. It's the method used to prepare bodies for exhibits like Body Worlds. Essentially, plastination involves a specimen soaked in a volatile solvent and then placed in a polymer. Yeah, no, no. A few motherfuckers in my chat, bro. I love when people are like, this is boring. Whenever anything is mildly educational in any way, no matter how entertaining it is, this is boring. I'm learning things. This is boring. Go. This is boring. Go, for, go to Fortnite. Go to Fortnite. Go to Fortnite. Go to Fortnite. Got a fuel, got a Fortnite, got a Fortnite. In a low pressure environment. On God, go to Fortnite. Uh, on God, on God, go to Fortnite. And the volatile Fuck solvent off. leaves the specimen, and the empty space is filled with the polymer solution by using very long time, even at room temperature. But here's the crazy thing: it's free. You can quite easily donate your body to the Institute for Plastination. It counts as donating your body to science. But here's the thing, you won't necessarily have control over what's done with your body. Because at the end of the day, corpses are legally not property. No one owns a corpse. Because a corpse is not legally a piece of property, no one can just do whatever they want with it. Your options are severely limited. And even if you specifically have requested, say, that your body be taxidermied and all- Oh, you can only do one of three things with a dead body? Specifically have requested, say, that your body be taxidermied and all of your surviving kin agree and want it to happen, it's very unlikely that a mortuary would allow that to happen. Wow. And historically, the law sides with the mortuary. For example, yeah, the law sides with mortuary, but say Elon Musk wanted to get taxidermied, that motherfucker would get taxidermied, no doubt. He's bypassing the fucking law on that one. In 1994, David Eugene Russell requested that when he Joe, got this sucks. Oh wait, hold up, 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 hold up. You've been following for two minutes. You've been in the hills. That's your first chat. This fucking sucks, Joe. This sucks. Oh my god, I need to see your account. Oh, I need to see your... Oh, you don't stream. Oh, you don't stream. Who's ready to watch me scream and make arbitrary jokes? Stop being a dick.
died, his body be skinned, his skin tanned into leather, and that leather used to bind a book of his writings. He wanted this to happen, as did his surviving widow, but the mortuary refused to do it, and the court sided with the mortuary. So even Damn. All right. We're done with that video, because he's just going on about other shit. Chad, if you had the option of getting taxidermied, would you? Last question. If it's if it's burial, cremation, or taxidermy? Fuck no. Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm just gonna sit there? I don't know what position, what emote would I want to be in for the rest of eternity? Probably like a... Like one of these. Like one of these. Like, like Zeus or something. Not, I mean, that's the Ziz, but like, probably like, probably like a Zeus pose, like a, like an emote. Yeah, I would be like an emote phase. I don't know what emote phase I would want to be in. Wait, let me look up God statues, probably in one of those positions. God statues. Yeah, like, oh, no, I can't show them because every God statue shows their genitals. Why do they do that? Okay, this one doesn't. I would, I would have a pitchfork like Poseidon. But at that point, just get like a rock sculpture of me. Like the fuck? All right, next video. Nerds are now alphas. This is by the dude that y'all told to skip the other day, Hamza. So we'll see if this one's better. We often insult Jeffrey at the start of these videos, but Jeffrey is a young man who has fallen victim to the modern addictions, modern technology, social media, hyper-stimulating porn and video games. Is it Jeffrey's fault that he's down bad? It's so easy for us to make fun of him, but he's fighting an uphill battle. Jeffrey checks his phone and there's notifications in a certain shade of red that are so enticing that he just can't help but to click on- See, I, don't already, I already don't get this guy because like, dude, we've watched him one time and all he talks about is how like social media is so bad and no one should ever use it but like he does social media yeah social media is so bad no one should ever do it all this other shit yet he literally posts on social media on them then he scrolls and all right all right ban the word skip ban the word skip ban the word skip Scrolls and scrolls. Swear to God, if people just type skip for the next 30 minutes, I'm literally going to freak out. It's falling victim to the social media platforms that use this endless scroll, like this death scroll 4chan. technology. Hours and hours and hours, every single day, every week, every month, every year, up until Jeffrey's left so depressed, empty, nihilistic, unaccomplished, and then Jeffrey kills himself. This isn't a me. Jeffrey's a guy from your high school. Picture your high school class right now. You had maybe a main class, then you had a class for like maths and science and stuff. And picture the guys in your class. See their faces. Within a few years, at least one of those faces that you've just seen in your mind will kill themselves. You hear th What the fuck? Bro, I've had people. I've In the last like two years, I've known like four people that were like uh, between 18 and 22 that I knew that killed themselves. They didn't kill themselves because of social media. Because they were a fucking nerd or some shit. They killed themselves because they were depressed for other reasons. What crack shit are you on? Uh, oh, if I picture someone in mind, one, one of them in the next year is going to kill themselves? Oh, what a, what, a, what, a, what a great motivational video, Hamza. What the fuck? This statement, and it doesn't, you know, it, it's scary. To, it, it's dark to hear this, and you, maybe you'll see it one day where people are posting about it. What is this anime green screen you got going on behind you? media but you never really take the time to visualize the last moments of a man who literally kills himself because of the modern technology has made him so i don't i out of everyone see i can't tell like i'm not gonna predict i i out of everyone that i've known in the last two years that have killed themselves i i can't tell you exactly because i wasn't there when they were killing themselves but i would go out on a limb here and say none of them killed themselves because of social media Almost all of them were because of other reasons. So you saying that people are just killing themselves more because of social media. I mean, it is an issue and it contributes to depression and anxiety, but people aren't killing themselves over their, their large consumption of TikTok. Like that's not, that's not a thing. Depressed. He's crying. He's fighting negative thoughts. He's already been thinking about it for a while. And then he decides to take action. Constant, overwhelming, relentless negative thoughts. Bad mental health. 
because of these platforms. I don't he doesn't think it's want because to be of those platforms. Way. He doesn't want to be weak. But the modern world, this technology, it's it's extremely extreme. I will say people people do like when people if people like kill themselves and they blame it on that, like social media is an aspect, but it's not a full blown thing. Like I've I've known people that have been overtly depressed because of League of Legends. Do you know anyone that's been, like, depressed over a video game? I know people that have been depressed over a video... Like, genuinely depressed over their League of Legends rank. Or something like that. Like, I like I can't go on. I, I'm, I'm hard stuck gold. I can't... I can't move further. There's no meaning. I've been playing the game for five years. Like, buddy, quit the game. There's more to life than fucking League. Right? You run it down mid every fucking time. Playing Yasuo. Figure it out. Stop playing the game. If there's, you shouldn't kill yourself over the league. Extremely strong. It is incredibly hard to overcome the addictions that are caused by things like modern social media. The People are saying boring vid L, but this dude has the same vibe as Tate. And if I watched Tate, everyone would be like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, amazing video. I mean, oh, Tate, oh, Tate. But the second I put on this guy, it's just, it's just, oh, no, boring, L, L. It's the same shit. They say the same fucking thing. If anything, he actually has more points. All those things, like that, that shade of red notification, they've optimized that. Those nerds in, like, Silicon Valley have optimized that because they know that that spikes something inside of your brain to make you click on it. They understand, yeah. like, it's all- What's wrong with that? What's wrong with that? Almost like a gambling machine where they understand that if they show you a good post a post that they know that you'll like followed by six posts that are going to be kind of boring and you know just mild and then another post that you like that gives you dopamine followed by three posts it's different every time you don't know when the next hit of dopamine is going to come and it's so exciting it's so addictive buddy you're it's not it's not it's not that addictive pal it's not that addictive you're acting like you're acting like i'm getting a fucking drug trip when i see a funny video on fucking tiktok you scroll you scroll because you're bored you scroll because you're bored you're on TikTok for an hour because you're fucking bored. It's entertaining. I'm not get. I'm not like. F I'm not like scrolling through a funny video. I see a funny video and I'm like, oh, the dopamine rush. Like I'm not. It, what the fuck are you on? This isn't heroin. Dude, it's that's a okay. fucking Instagram video. You're talking about Instagram. It's probably a copied reel off of TikTok. Gambling. Oh, the dopamine rush. Works. Imagine those people who like just spent all day like cranking the the gambling machines. They don't know when the next big hit, the the reward is gonna. Gambling is very addictive, but gambling is addictive in a completely different way and much more addictive than social media, by far. Social media is a daily thing in someone's life that can be somewhat addictive. Uh, th that you're right on that, but. A gamble gambling is actually an addiction. Like genuinely an addiction. Because there's only two ways. The the reason gambling's so addictive, because there's two ways to make money in life, right? Um, you either in you stake your money. The only way to use money to make money is by either investing it or gambling it. Those are the only two ways. Either way, you're staking your money with a potential loss. But the uh, the goal is to use money to make money. Gambling is the fastest way to do it out of anything. Investing your money is a slow term, yet, yeah, like, you can you can get a great investment and go sky high in a stock or something like that, but realistically, you could go into a casino and have the potential of making $1,000 into a $1 million in two hours. Is it going to happen? No, because you're going to fucking statistically lose. But that thought in someone's mind and that winning of money by just put betting money and winning money for almost doing nothing is addictive. It's completely different than social media. The fact that you're comparing them is fucking stupid. Why for the sub, Madcap for the sub, Rampage for the sub, uh, Scuff Tuna for the 300 bets. One of my good friends took their life when we were in high school, and I can say with 100% certainty that the reason was not social media. It feels like he was undermining other reasons young people take their lives. Yeah. Lope for the 300 bets. You say he's like tape, but what color is his Bugatti? He probably doesn't have one. Yeah, he probably doesn't have one. Uh, taste for the fringe bits. Andrew Tate, smart as fuck with how he promotes himself. He doesn't actually believe half the shit he says. I don't like him, but you have to give it to the man. He, this guy's just fucking stupid. Uh, no, T I give, I give Tate a lot of credit. I, I think Tate's a pyramid scheme artist, but I also think he's a genius. I think what he's doing is bad, but he is smart. Tate is very smart. Hit, that makes it so much more addictive. And these nerds Why know are you always in a robe and your hair's like wet? Like every... <laughs> 
Like, every video. Don't get me wrong. Not trying to be, yo, no, 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 not trying to be weird here. He's an attractive guy, right? He's an attractive guy. I know that's what he's, that, that's how he's appealing this. But, like, you're in a robe in, like, every video almost. Because he's an alpha. Oh, he's not in a robe in this one, but he's always shirtless. I, I, I understand. He has, like, some good points, but, like, he always over-exaggerates everything. Like, yeah, social media has issues. You're right. But then he says social media has issues and everybody kills themselves because of social media. Okay, that's a bit, that's a bit far. This. They specifically create technology like this, knowing that it fucks up your mental health, knowing that it leads to people killing themselves, and they do it with a smile on their face because these nerds who work at, like, Facebook get paid 500k a year for being- Their goal isn't- <laughs> The people that work at Facebook trying to get more clicks, they're not making the app addictive so people kill themselves. They're making the app addictive so they can pump ad rev and make more money. It's their job. They're not, they're not, they don't want people to die. Like, what? Being the death of society. When you think about the most powerful person, the most powerful people of society, you might think of like Donald Trump, like the president, wouldn't you? Maybe you'd think of no. like some big, strong looking guy, but it's not, no. it's a nerd with like a tucked in shirt, forward neck posture, no. hunched No, it's not a nerd either. The strongest, the, the, the most powerful people in the world are people that own like the, the stock world. The, the leader of BlackRock, Elon Musk, Jeff Bezos, those guys are the, the leaders of the world. Over shoulders. I'm telling you right now, th this is gonna sound weird. Nerds, Silicon Valley nerds, are more powerful than any president of any country. They control who is the president. How, how do people get picked for like presidency? How do people like vote through the information? That's not their fault. If you really wanna advocate, if you really wanna say that nerds at Silicon Valley are picking the president because of propaganda that they push on Facebook, you should be blaming the American people for being fucking stupid and falling for that shit rather than the Silicon Valley shit. Same thing with a pyramid scheme. You can blame Andrew Tate. I, I, I don't like Andrew Tate that much, bro, because he's a scam artist. But at the end of the day, if you're falling for a fucking pyramid scheme, Somebody just said you're American. No shit, but I know politics to a degree. Most, the majority of Americans that vote have no idea what the fuck they're voting on. That's a fact. That's a, go, go up to any American, ask them a political question. One out of ten people will get it right. At like a simple one. Just like, 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 oh, name three, name three things Biden or Trump wanted to do in their presidency. They couldn't. Three things. Name three things they wanted to accomplish. The wall. Guns, and then if they're on Biden's side, it'll be the, the fucking conversely stupid shit. It, it's like, it, 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 you gotta learn, right? Like, yes, Silicon Valley people have manipulative capabilities on social media. That is a genuine fact. They can control voting to a degree. But that's not, the fact that they can do that says something about the average American. Information that they get and information is controlled again by these like Silicon Valley nerds the people in Silicon Valley these tech like nerds Control who gets to be president by the control of information they control what fuck I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say this guy doesn't like nerds. Are you a liberal? I'm a social Democrat, uh, but I have friends all over the political spectrum up your mental health what news goes viral and what news doesn't and the biggest thing that they want why these like guys these little nerds are employed into these big companies like facebook retention there's one main reason why these people are employed it's for retention to retain you to keep you on the platform for longer and longer and longer imagine these guys are very very smart these are like extremely smart like geeks they're being employed paid hundreds of thousands of dollars per year and their sole mission is to make the platform more addictive then wow really Really? Everyone knows that. Everyone knows that. Imagine if this company has hundreds of these employees, the best, smartest minds, and these like these nerds, bro. They're optimizing shit. They're literally taking like nootropics, you know, like brain altering like pills and all. Like they they do some fuck, fucked up shit to like improve their performance, their cognitive ability. <laughs> Did he just say they're taking brain altering drugs to make them smarter? To, to, like, manipulate the American people more. Just say they're taking Adderall. They're on Adderall. They work 16-hour they work days. Yeah, they work a lot.
ability to write better code, to come up with more ideas. All of these guys are like microdosing and everything. That is what we're up against. Microdosing what? Shrooms? What are you? What? What? What are they microdosing? You're claiming they're taking mind-altering things to make them smarter. What? What are they taking? No, you wanted to like take a step back from porn or video games or social media. Bro, you, you are ping ponging all over the place, man. Are just one young man going against hundreds, if not thousands, of these software developers, these data analysts. They they, they know everything. I just made a video, which is gonna go live like today. It's Monday the 18th. You can go find out my. And you have them to thank that your video is doing well. And you have them to thank that you just made a thousand dollars, not a thousand, two hundred thousand views. You have them to thank that you made eight hundred dollars on this fucking video. You're bitching and complaining that they're fucking stupid and uh, oh, oh, the nerds are bad people. They're the reason you're on social media. They're the reason you're successful. They're the reason you're doing well because they push your shit. Like what? New Darman video out. We do need to watch a new Darman video. Should we watch a Darman video today, chat? I would I would be down to finish with a Darman video. After this video, we have one more, then we can do a Darman or two. Um The Weird for the 750 bits. Off topic, would you ever ride a horse? Uh yeah, I've ridden a horse before. Love your content. You never make me fail. Uh you never fail to make me laugh. Thank you. Uh Lope for the 300 bits. You said the CEO of BlackRock seems like I've been summoned. You're not the CEO of BlackRock. Why do you claim that you're the CEO of BlackRock? You would be a billionaire. Hannah for the sub. Haunted for the five. Just want to say how much I appreciate your streams. Keep up the good work. Thank you. My channel is just literally titled Delete Instagram Now. And I was telling you the story of like what's made me delete my Instagram, which I got fucking pissed, right? I spent an hour on the platform when I didn't mean to. I literally meant to just go onto it to send a single message. And I ended up scrolling for over an hour and a half, seeing like 50 different girl profiles. And like, oh my God, this girl's got big titties and she's not that far away. So like my, my evolutionary brain is getting excited. But then the next profile that I click on is like a big muscular guy. So it's like, oh fuck, that's really scary. Like, think about what's up. <laughs> what the fuck are you... <laughs> What are you talking about, bro? Oh my god. That's your Instagram feed on who you're following. Or are you saying you, you go on the explore page? No one? I? Who here goes on the Instagram explore page? What? Never. Never. I, dude, I don't know the last time I went on the Instagram explore page. Like, I, I rarely. If I'm very bored, I'll scroll. But, like, since TikTok, I would say Instagram Explore page, I used to do it a lot. And then once TikTok came out, they're like, there's no point. Because, like, if I'm going, it, like, Instagram is for, like, pictures and shit like that. You know what I mean? Like, oh, your friends. And you look at what your friends are doing, stuff like that. But, like, TikTok is now the entertainment. Instagram used to be both. Garrett, for the three bets. Watch Darman video. I will later. Dude, what that is doing to your psychological, like, space. <sighs> Dude, and sweating. then I said in this video that the way I expressed my frustration for when that happened, you know, I spent too long on Instagram, was by grabbing my phone, going on to my Instagram stories and recording myself like being frustrated. I was frustrated at Instagram and I went on Instagram to vent my frustration. I said that, I sat there for a second and I literally looked at the camera and said, oh fuck, they have us by the balls. You don't realize how addicted you are and the people are around you. Hopefully you're one of the very few people who've made some good progress here. And if you have have if right now you're watching this and you've made some pretty good progress reducing your social media time reducing how much you watch porn or play video games right now you know yeah it's nice you you know you're, you're acknowledging it for enough but like, you don't realize oh my god it's just like contradictive like people that go on social media to tell you to get off social media like i understand you're trying to spread a message but like at the end of the day you're trying to get more views to spread your message that you shouldn't get views like, it's very, it's very weird to say, hey, guys, you should stop using social media. By the way, hit like and subscribe. By the way, hit like and subscribe so more people see this message. But never watch one of my videos again. After you've just watched this video, don't watch any more. Unless you want to watch this one that I just linked right there. Like, it doesn't make sense. Hannah for the thousand bits. Hey, shitter. <laughs> hey, shitter. Thank you for the amazing content. You're an absolute king. Well, that's an intro. Thank you for the thousand bits, Hannah.
what you've just done. You have just done something that should be impossible. If you have made progress to reduce your social media use, that literally means you are winning against these thousands of nerds. Their total pay is in the hundreds of millions per company, if not more. You versus thousands of nerds who are microdosing, who are on nootropics, who are, who are like literally employed just to make sure you stay addicted to the platform. If you've made any progress at all, bro, holy shit, you're a fucking legend. And if you have- Okay, then what am I supposed to do instead, instead okay? Say, say you delete every social media. What's life like? I wanna contact one of my friends. I want to know, what am I going to call? Am I going to individually call every single one of my friends? I'm going to individually call them. Am I going to iMessage every single person I've ever known? Hey, haven't seen you in seven years. Haven't seen you, haven't seen you in a while. What's going on? Or I just scroll on their Instagram, see what's new. Some shit like that. Duck for the 5,000 bits! I've been in the hills fucking dudes. I'll let it pass. I'll let it slide. That, you gave me 5,000 bits. I'll, I'll, let the, I'll let the I've been in the hills shit slide. Thank you for the 5,000 bits, duck. Stop with that shit, though. Oh, my God. Thank you for the 5,000 bets. Heavens, if right now you still feel like you are in the depths of like social media addiction, porn addiction, video game addiction, it's all- I just think it's a controlling of usage. I like, I, I don't think it's necessarily like, oh, you should delete all social media entirely. Like some social medias I, I will deem as useless. Like I think Facebook is fucking stupid. I've always thought Facebook is stupid. I don't think there's any reason on using Facebook. Um, But like any other social media, like you just have to use it within reason. You know what I mean? Like if you're if you're scrolling on Instagram for fucking sixteen hours, yeah, that's a problem. But if you're on Instagram for ten minutes a day, who cares? Like they they don't have you. They don't have me by the nuts. All the same. When I talk about these like Silicon Valley nerds for like Facebook, it's also the same nerds who are designing like Pornhub. It's also the same nerds who are designing like video games. It's all the same kind of technology. All of these nerds have been hired literally for the one cause of retention make people stay here for longer if you haven't made great progress just yet and you find yourself okay you are still in the depths of this addiction it's not your fault it is perhaps one of the hardest like modern day rites of passage that you could ever come across is taking a step back i just want you to see the life that is waiting for you on a practical sense if you cut out this cancer from your life i will say i will say people do overuse social media to agree to a degree but, like, if that's what they want to do, that's what they want to do. You know what I mean? Like, I think he's trying to say if you stopped using social media as much, you would have more time to do things that you would enjoy. I feel like he just words shit so badly. Like, it, it, you're right. Lower your social media time slightly. You have more time to do shit that, you, that could, like, expand your knowledge. You could go see things, go do things. But, like, if you want to – you're bored one day at home scrolling on fucking TikTok or YouTube or whatever. That's not bad. The three big things – Social media, video games, and porn. On a practical sense, you will save probably more than 10 hours per week. That's realistic, isn't it? It's probably more than that. That 10 hours is literally how you, as a young, ambitious man, are able to build your kid. But it's fun. Like, I understand what he's saying. Oh, if you don't spend as much time on video games and all this other shit, you can fucking uh, go around and get a job and work at fucking Walmart and make more money and be more successful earlier in life. Yeah, you're right. But at the end of the day, you're living life to enjoy life. If I'm living life to just fucking sit there, work 80 hours a week and not have fun at all, never play, never play video games with my friends, never see what's going on with them, never watch YouTube, never watch Twitch, never watch a fucking anime, never watch Netflix, uh, Hulu, whatever. Oh, I'm using social media too much. Uh, life sucks. It's boring at that point. You ever ask your grandparents what they did for fun? Ask your grandparents what they did for fun when they were young. It sounds so ass. What did you used to do for fun, Grandpa? Well, we used to play with grass clippings. Wow. Kingdom. The progress that you wanted, you know, you've always wanted to like- We used to carve sticks and, and hunt, hunt things for fun. Cool. I can play Valorant.
be financially free and have freedom and success and confidence. It comes from being in control of your time. When you have time, you can then go invest that into things like learning, getting therapy, spending time in nature, sleeping more, all of these things which are so good for you. And then when you start putting that time, when you're like a healthy person and you put that time then into a business, a career, your studies. You get that success that you've always wanted. You feel more confident and you're making money and you can give money to like, your family. I was Part of success in business is the use of social media though. You're fucking... The majority of businesses use social media to promote, to promote their own business. Social media... If social media didn't exist, all businesses in general would be much less successful. Like, you just contradict yourself. Like, it's just... Like, yeah, oh, go start a business. Go be successful. What do you need to have a successful business? Social media. Off rip, if you're starting a business from ground up, what, are you going to fucking hand out flyers? Only ever no, you're going to post on Facebook. You're going to let people in your city know that this business is open, blah, blah, blah. They're going to come. The first hundred people that saw it, yeah, maybe only a hundred people will see it on Facebook, but those hundred people that you got from social media will tell five other people, and then you'll grow from there. If you didn't have that, you would be standing on the fucking corner handing out flyers saying, I just started a, a business. And you're going to, like, what are you going to do? Hey, for the 300 bits. You should react to Chad Wild. He's super cringy. Is on the same spectrum as Steven Sharer. Patrick for the three. MySpace has me by the nuts. Is MySpace even an app anymore? Sam for the 300 bits. I used to climb trees. I used to climb trees too when I was younger. But like, I still played on my DSi. And did shit like that. Chad Wild Clay. I'll look at his account later. Able to make any progress in life and feel productive in life at age 22. Guess what I did? I cut it all off at the same time. Social media, video games, and porn at the same time. May 2020. I cut it all off. And that was literally the start. So of he's 24. Chapter of my life, and I became very successful after that because I saved all this time. Now my mental power, like my mental focus, isn't going to like these girls just showing ass on Instagram. Finally, I'm harnessing it for myself, and I'm thinking, okay, let's put in some fucking work for myself for once. Let's gather my attention, my focus into my own things that will actually develop my life rather than consume. Let me attention, my focus, and my own things. Let me put all my mind into YouTube, which is a social media. I quit it all at once and I put my mind and then you put it, you went back to YouTube. Doing this mindless content, that is a modern day. <laughs> How often does he post? I swear to God, if he's like a daily YouTuber, like bro. Okay, this is the I've wrong been Hamza. To Hold up, this Hamza. Yeah, bro, you post every day. You post literally every day. Once a day. I mean, he probably has a business of his own. I'm not going to doubt that he's done. He, he has some sort of business. It looks like he has some business YouTube videos as well. But I'm saying, like, you still use social media. Right of passage for men. I want you to just see the vision that I see. First, the negative vision. If you don't make progress in this, if you continue to be somewhat of a normal person. And why are you posting about your Instagram getting banned? I saw that video. If you're saying fuck Instagram, why why do you care that they banned you? Makes excuses, even though, even though you missed my bits. Did I really? Not recently. If it's your bits from a while ago, I did not miss them. I'll look at your profile. I'm hard pressed. I missed both of yesterday's streams. I already read that. Also, congrats on the mail. Thank you. Your excuses seem valid. Shut the fuck up. Oh, I can't delete Instagram and Snapchat because there's someone to message. Shut the fuck up. Don't you fucking say that to yourself. Don't you sell yourself short. Don't you, like, advertise for these nerds. Oh, but I, th there's messages. Shut the fuck up. If there was important... Is this man, like, a giga Chad? ...messages for you to reply to on Facebook, Instagram, whatever, bro. You'd have each other's phone numbers. If they don't have your like, phone number... Like, he hates nerds. I feel like he's using, like, nerd as an insult. I really don't think nerd's an insult anymore. If you don't have theirs, if you don't text each other, it wasn't ever that important. It's not you talking. This is so, so fucking interesting. When you argue for something that you know is so totally bad for you, social media, video games, and porn, when you argue for it, that isn't even you thinking. That's the addiction. It's the same way the heroin oh addicts say, like, 
oh no, but it, it's good for me. I can't stop fucking weed smokers every day. Like, oh no, but it, you know, it makes me. Oh, he's against weed too. But it makes me creative, and I, it's not even that bad. <laughs> video game as well, but it, it's a video game ideas, and I might be an esports. Shut the fuck up. Yeah, I might be an esports player. It's the same way fat people talk about like unhealthy food. That is the addiction talking. Become aware of it. Become aware when you have a thought that is not in your best interest, and realize that is like the Jeffrey part of your brain that's trying to keep you weak. This may be some of the weirdest, most specific, like like weirdest fucking advice you've ever heard before. A lot of the times, you can't trust your own brain. A lot of the times, your brain will push you, like your entire body will crave things that aren't good for you. You know this. You will get cravings for things that aren't good for you. Porn, video games. Dude, he's getting so mad. Junk food, drugs. You'll get cravings for them. You will have- You get cravings for things that breed happiness. Um, whether it's artificial or natural. Um, so yes, you can have an addiction to social media if it brings you dopamine. But you could have an addiction to- Basketball. When people, when you make a basket in basketball, you get dopamine in your brain. You could have an addiction to that. I mean, like you're just saying, like if if it, you're you're saying if it's an addiction, it's wrong. But then at that point, anything that breeds happiness is is wrong. I have every reason to believe that you want those things. You don't. You rationally know. You objectively know that these things are bad for you. But you have this feeling inside of you, and the majority of young men are so weak. So uncertain, so unaware that this, like, this is a concept that you have. It's like, not uncertain. It's because you don't know. Like, there are issues with social media, but there's issues with everything. It's not, we're not arguing about whether or not heroin is good for you. I'm not sitting here like, yeah, I mean, but like once in a while, like, uh, once in a while, it's not, in moderation, heroin's okay. I'm not saying that, but in moderation, fucking social media is fine. Like, what are you, yeah, it can be a problem, but it's not if you do it right. Jeffrey Brain, that they I'm not sitting to. here like, yeah, if I only smoke crack once a week, it's not that big of a deal. But they feel like watching porn, so they watch porn. They feel like there's a good reason to be on social media, so they go on social media. They don't realize that a lot of the things, like the feelings that you have and the thoughts that you have. Oh my god, do you guys want me to switch videos? Because, like, motherfuckers complain. Mad cat, bro. Like, you gotta know, like, it is annoying when you just sit here and complain. Like you, like, do you guys want me to switch videos? I, I was having fun reacting to it. Whatever. I thought it was entertaining. I would rather finish the video, but if you guys are just going to sit here and bitch. Don't actually serve you. All right, we'll switch. Next video. And then watch this, watch this. Motherfuckers have been sitting. I don't know what it is recently, but my chat's just been telling me to switch videos every five seconds. Everyone has been telling me to watch this video for the last three weeks. If motherfuckers want to skip this video in the first minute, I'm done. School, school school bus safety videos. Oh, strugglers, it's that time of year again, baby. We're gearing up to go back to school. I always kind of got a little bit of a pit in my stomach when it was time to go back to school, like when we would go and get notebooks and pencils and stuff. It's just like, it, it's marking the end of summer, right? Wow, Scott, groundbreaking commentary. School marks the end of summer? That's crazy, I had no idea. But this year, it's super day on your for or to look back here's a first video school bus behavior the good i'm not the watching his commentary like at that point i'll just like this is this is a shit video if you want me to be real like i'm not gonna watch the commentary like you want me to commentate on this what the fuck am i gonna say the bad and the ugly hello kyrene students my name is sandy and i work in the transportation department nice bus here this video <laughs> <laughs> why don't I just look up school bus stay feed videos? Why am I watching? Why am I watching Scott react to it? Like I could just watch actual school bus safety videos. Hi, my name's Gail, and this is Trey. Like I'd rather actually just watch real school bus safety videos. Just watch the description. The description. What? Tracy, we work at the transportation department. We work with bus. Dude, I, this, it, it's just so, these are always so awkward. School bus safety videos. I stalk for the set. Hi, my name's Gail, and this is Tracy. Sorry, Joe, you're fine. I wanted to finish that video, if you want me to be real. I could have made that into a YouTube video, but my chat just bitched the entire time. I'm not trying to be a dick, but, like, you got, like, I, that could have been a good YouTube video, and you guys told me to skip the video.
Like, I would rather have fi finished that video. That was a good video, in my opinion. The Hamza one, I thought that was a good video to react to. I think I could have edited it down. It would have been good. But you guys didn't want to watch it. So it's fine. Like, I'm not going to bitch. Like, I understand I'm appealing to an audience. But, like, you guys were basically bullying me into switching. I'm bored. I'm bored. Then leave. I'm going to finish the video, actually. We're going to finish that Hamza video. Because I want to make that into a YouTube video. You can say hi, YouTube, if you want. If you want to leave, leave. I don't give a fuck. Like, I'm, I'm going to finish that video. Like, I, like I, I want to appeal to you guys, but, like, at the end of the day, like, if you're, like, not, like, fully grasped, entertained by something, like, there's still people that want to watch it. Like, I'm already halfway into the fucking video. I don't even talk about anything deep about, you know, like... Yeah, like, people are just like, oh, I want to leave. Oh, and then, and then everybody switches, and everybody's like, oh, W now. W, W, W. Dude, I don't even know where the video is. Here it is. You, like, I'm gonna finish this video. Just because, like, that- this could easily be a good YouTube video. Manipulated your thoughts and your feelings and your desires and your cravings. Then we'll watch school bus safety videos. I'm down to watch actual school bus safety videos. I'm not watching someone else react to a school bus safety video. Like, I'll watch them myself at, at that point. Like, why am I reacting to someone reacting to something? are manipulated by the modern addictions. These nerds are being paid a very good price to manipulate your brain and to make you feel like you need to stay onto the platform because otherwise you're going to miss out and you're going to be lonely. But I need to be on there to message people. That is in your brain talking. It's the message that's been implanted by these fucking nerds who want to make you feel like you're going to miss out. FOMO, fear of missing out. That's literally what they've implanted into your brain. If FOMO, FOMO works with literally anything disregarding social media. FOMO is a thing that has existed even before social media. When your friends ask if you want to hang out and you kind of don't want to, but then at the end of the day, you're like, oh, if I, ha if I don't hang out with them, then I'm going to miss out on fun. That's FOMO. It doesn't even involve social media. There was an important conversation. If there was an important person that you valued, you would have each other's phone number and you would text each other, you would call, or you would send messages on like WhatsApp. If they don't have your phone number, if you don't have theirs, that conversation was never important. 77,000 followers is what I'm giving up by not- Your bio is cult leader. Jesus Christ, bro. Using Instagram anymore. That's a good level of fucking clout. I want you to imagine, right? Imagine you had 77,000 followers on Instagram. Imagine you go meet a new person and you exchange Instagram. Imagine you go speak to a girl and she's kind of nice and she's kind of vibing you and you exchange Instagrams and she sees that number 77K. Now she likes you. Now she's more interested. You meet another guy and he sees, oh my God, you've got. If a girl liked me because of my follow, like if Brooke liked me because of my following count, I would have never dated her. Like, you should like someone because of their personality. If you're using your follower account to flex on women to get them to be attracted to you, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, they're not women you should want to be with in the first place. If a girl likes you for the sole reason of you having, you have a big following, that's fucking weird. That's not, you shouldn't be appealing, you shouldn't, you shouldn't uh, appeal, like, you shouldn't only appeal to them because of that. That's weird. Mr. Knight for the sub. Got so many followers, what do you do? 77,000 followers is what I'm giving up. Someone liking you because of how many followers you have is equivalent of someone liking you because you're rich. It has nothing to do with your personality. It only just hit me. Like, I knew this. It's power. It's, it's the attraction to power. The attraction to money, the attraction to following, and the attraction to power. You shouldn't like someone because of that. But I fell into the, the trap of for the last six months, I kind of just like forgotten. I just thought like, oh yeah, you know, I'm using Instagram and it's really nice and I'm using it mindfully. I swear, shut the fuck up. It just hit me yesterday. The most that I had before this was like 900 followers. Bro, this is how I, I'm just going to be totally fucking honest. This is how I get girls. It's my Instagram. The pictures I post and the fact that I've got like clout. This is how I, I've met like a bunch of guys who like look up to me and you know, like, like high status kind of attractive guys message me and they're like, oh, bro, we should do a workout and everything. Well, a you... lot of couples meet on social media now. That's how it is. If we don't live in the 1920s anymore, Hamza. You don't walk up to a girl at the local the ro the, the local skate place on a Saturday and say, Hey, hon, you want to go out to dinner with me? You don't fucking say that anymore. You meet someone on social media, you hang out, you go on a date, then you go from there. You meet them before, before you actually hang out with them. Normally, that's just how it works. That's how, so that's how life is now. It's different. You don't... It, there's scenarios, yeah, where you meet a girl at a bar or at your school or something, you hit it off that way. But you're not fucking, you're, you're, not, you're not at the roller rink uh, uh, in 1940 on, on a fucking Saturday night at 7 p.m. 
and you roll up to the girl and do a cool move and say, hey. Friends, I'm giving that up for the ROI. Bro, Joe is mad boring. Why are you in my stream? <laughs> like, why are you in my stream? Leave. Leave. This video sucks. I'm bored. Bye. Bye. Ban him. Actually, perma ban him. Perma ban him. Deny, deny his unban request. Bye. You'll never be in my chat again. Make another account. Then you can come in another day. Of imp uh, Harry for the 300 bits. Hello from South Africa. Love the stream. Keep up the good work. Thank you. Uh, Tier for the sub. Dude, I just want to get through this video. Like, I actually don't give two shits if you think the video is boring. Like, I actually don't give a fuck anymore. Like, you're just being a dick. Like, I want to appeal to my audience, but, like, half my audience wants to watch this video. The other half doesn't. I, like, I'm sorry. There, I, I watched 20 videos in a fucking stream. You're not going to like every single goddamn video I watch. That's just how it is. Okay? But when I start a video and all you do is fucking whine and bitch and say, Skip! Skip! I'm bored! Skip! You're boring me, Joe! Leave! Fuck! Like, it's not even broke. And then motherfuckers will say, Oh, you're just being ungrateful. No, I'm trying to be entertaining. I can't entertain 100% of an audience at all times. That's not how fucking media works. You, you I, out of all the videos I watch, guaranteed you'll like at least a few of them. But if you don't like three minutes of a fucking video I'm watching, my bad, bro. That's not my fucking fault. Jesus Christ, you just complain, bro. Oh my God. Like, I'm sitting here trying to entertain you. If you're just going to sit there and be like, I'm bored. I'm bored. Leave. Deadass leave. I won't miss you. Yo, Kobe for the sub. Tear for the sub. Like, I'm trying to entertain you. I appreciate everybody that's ever been in my stream, bro. Like, you have no idea. Like, I appreciate every single person that's ever been in my fucking stream. But, like, if you're really gonna sit here and every single chat you've ever had is, I'm bored, I'm bored, skip video, skip video. How do you even call yourself a fan of me? Like, how do you sit here and just complain to me that I'm boring, yet you still watch me? It's fucking contradictive. Just like this fucking guy. Proving my mental health. Because that If you don't want to watch it... Leave. Come back in seven minutes, and I'll be on to this fucking school bus safety video. Don't sit here and spam, I'm bored, I'm bored. Skip, 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 I'm bored. Joe, you're boring me. I'm gonna leave. Okay, bye. Night for the sub. Fuck off. Like, you're just being a dick. And the motherfuckers will say, I'm ungrateful. I'm not ungrateful, you're being an asshole. I'm trying to entertain you, you just complain. Fuck, dude. Like, if you're bored, you don't have to be here. It's optional. You're not fucking trapped. You're optionally sitting here. Oh, under your own will. And my point of this video, you're not trapped here. I'm not, I'm not a fucking, I'm not some dude on, 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 uh, whatever it's called. The, the uh, Silicon Valley fucking typing in the computer, hacking into you, trying to make you to sit here. You don't have to be here. I'm trying to fucking entertain people. If you're not entertained by this video, I'm sorry, okay? Not everything's gonna be a fucking hit. That's how it is on social media. But at the end of the day, I think this would be a good YouTube video if I reacted to it. I think it's an entertaining video to watch. If you don't think so, that's fine. I stalk for the thousand bets. Is the single best thing that, if there is something, bro, this is just a general thing that I, like, piece of advice I can give you. If there is something that improves your mental health, that is incredibly valuable. The thing somebody just said mad question mark. Yep, permaband. Yep, bye. Yep, bye. Yep, bye. Actually, I'll unban you. That's a bit harsh. I'm just mad right now. Does that improve your mental health? Or quite literally have a life saving ROI. Return on investment. ROI is return on investment. I want you to think Dude, about I'm sweating now. I just got so fucking pissed. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Oh my god. Dude, it's just like, it, it, it's only been recently. Like, it's only been recently. Like, the past, like, three days. Like, I'll watch a video and ten seconds into it. Skip. 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 Stop pausing. Go watch the video your fucking self. The things that improve your mental health literally have a life-saving Return on investment. This isn't just about like a one times return on investment and it's like your well, view counts gone up. That's why yeah No, you're right. There's more people. There's newer people here. There's new. It's the new people being real It's the newer people not hating on new people. I'm glad that I've had more viewers But like 
It's it's some newer people are just uh, like like bro. Like if you don't like it, that's fine. That's fine. Like you don't have to. You don't have to be in my stream. Okay. I'm trying to entertain you. I'm sorry if you're not entertained. But like I'm I'm just gonna move on. We're gonna finish the video. We'll go to the fucking school bus one. You can be more entertained there. Dominic for the sub. Double your money, bro. You'll get to live if you commit yourself to the thing. It's like, how do you watch a video for 20 seconds and then immediately say skip? It is a 19 minute video. Motherfucker said skip here. Like, dude, give it a shot. Give it a chance. I'm trying to tell you to give this guy a chance, not even me. I, I don't give a fuck if you think I'm boring. Give the guy a chance so I can fucking talk about it. Prove your mental health and perhaps one of the single most important things that we all need to talk about is stopping social media, video games, porn. You'll get to live and then you'll be so saddened when you look around and you see everyone else consumed staring into their fucking phones like Jeffries. And you'll try and save as many people as possible and you'll realize why I'm making it. I do think people sit on their phone too much. I do think people use their phone too much. The biggest example is a concert when people film videos at concerts. I think that's idiotic. If, uh, or you're on vacation and you film every single second of it. I mean, like, if you're a YouTuber and you're vlogging, that's different. But, like, people that just film everything they've ever done, it's pointless. Like, you're not even experience. you're experiencing the, the moment through your camera rather than experiencing it in general. You can film things here and there, but if you film a three-hour concert, dude, just sit there and watch the concert. Put your fucking phone down, tell people about it. No one gives a shit that you went to the concert. You give a shit that you went to the concert. Experience it yourself. Who gives a fuck? I'll agree with him on that. Zahid for the sub. Video exactly like this. The real alpha males are no longer like those big steroid tough guys. The guys in power, the guys who are in charge, are these skinny neck, forward neck, hunched over posture nerds. And they know what they're doing. They know that they're taking away your family from you. They Dude, he know hates that nerds. they're taking away your friends from you. They know that the girl that you're gonna date in the future, they know that they're making her addicted to the validation that she can get from other guys on this platform. And that's what's gonna ruin your relation, your like romantic relationship. The single most important thing of your life, like the, the girl you might have had a family with and they've fucked her mental health and they know it they know what they're doing and now so do you so any excuse that pops into your mind now that i've got to use it to message my family and like whatever fucking excuse bro they've planted that fucking message in there social media uh, is like not is he saying social media like i message is he saying like i message is bad if he's saying i message like a text is bad for you that's fucking absurd cancer porn is a cancer video games are cancer quitting all three is a rite of passage for men but make sure you follow me on instagram fuck off <laughs> this video has got you feeling he said lincoln desk kind of just work. kidding i want to see i want to see bro lincoln desk just kidding as he actually wasn't kidding and there is a link to his discord server social skills masterclass how to meditate oh does, is this a pyramid scheme is this literally another andrew tate did these things cost money Oh my god, it's a money. Oh my god, it costs money. Oh wait, no, it's a Skillshare class. What about his Discord server? Is his Discord server free? It's free. Dude, he has 71,000 members in his Discord. That's a lot of people. Wow. Way, doesn't it? You don't often feel like this when you're watching YouTube videos, do you? This is not just a normal YouTube video. This is not just a normal YouTube channel. This is a cult, literally a cult. I am your cult leader, Hamza, and our vision- Why are you, why are you like gladly promoting that you're a cult leader? Like that's not something you should be proud of. Like what, why are you saying that? I'm a, I, this is a cult, I'm your leader. You realize a cult definition has a charismatic, manipulative leader. Most of the time. Cult. Definition. A relatively small group of people having religious beliefs or practices regarded by others as strange or sinister. Cult leader characteristics. Cults are cult leaders are narcissistic, charismatic, unpredictable, and manipulative. You just claimed that you are a cult leader, but that you're spreading the truth. In this cult, like I'm openly fucking saying that I'm leading like a cult. People that actually run cults don't say that they run a cult because if you admit that you're running a cult, you're admitting that you're manipulating your audience.
Like, people that run cults don't say it's a cult. The fact that you're saying it's a cult either means that it's not a cult or it means that you're admitting that you're manipulating your audience. A cult. A cult of young men who are taking a step back from modern addictions, social media, video games, porn, even more drugs, junk food. Cult of young men who want to become more masculine, but who want to be around to live that life with improved mental health. A cult of young men who are literally gratitude journaling and not jacking off watching porn anymore and meditating, going out to the gym, building a body that we're like proud of and we- Okay, then you're just saying it's a cult and it's not a cult because you're just promoting base values. Stop saying you run a cult then. I feel like you don't realize what you're saying when you say you run a cult. Just confidence and happiness, bringing our brothers up. This is a cult. That might sound weird to hear because no one else has ever, ever had the confidence to tell you, but joining us might just No, be it's not the confidence. It's the grasp of what a actual cult is. You don't say you run a cult. That's weird. One of the best decisions you ever make in your life. It might save your life, as it has for thousands of men in my cult. Hamza, I'm 42, and I wish someone like you, yourself, to guide me when I was a teen and in my 20s. Being from a single mother household, I literally didn't know how to be a man growing up. It has taken me 10 to 15 years to deprogram myself. Your content is not just helpful to young guys, but also older guys like myself. Peace, brother. Bro, I grew up in a, I, I grew up in a household with only women. It doesn't matter. It literally doesn't matter. You can still have a father figure. You can still have a father figure regardless of whether or not your dad's in the picture. What is this shit? You didn't know how to be masculine before Hamza at the age of 42? You're fine, bro. Like, I, I feel like I, he has, like, a power. Like, I understand Hamza spread some good things, but I feel like this guy's, like, also somewhat being, like, not brainwashed by Hamza, but, like, Bro, like, what do you mean deprogram? You don't need to deprogram yourself. You're, like, a regular dude. Like, I don't know. Maybe it was, like, something else that I'm not understanding, but this is just weird. The future, the vision that I want you to see into your mind right now. See yourself in third person right now. Like, this is, I know this is weird, but, like, close your eyes. Really see yourself in third person. And just see yourself finally doing those right habits. Almost, like, flashes of you just being fucking productive. Running around, like, lifting weights. Looking fucking sick. You can still do that on social media. Max Taylor lifts, David Laid, any lifting, Bradley Martin, any lifting YouTuber, successful, they lift every day. They compete, IFBB pros, they use social media. Like, what, it, like, it, you have, it, it, every point you have has a counterpoint. Sick looking like stylish as fuck. You've been improving yourself. You're doing like weird habits like meditating and journaling. All that shit that you knew. Like you've been told so many times that you should do that stuff. That you should prioritize your sleep. Bro, just prior just say just say just promote the things that you're saying. The things that he's promoting aren't bad. But like you're saying you can't do them if you have social media, which is just wrong. That you shouldn't be watching porn or video games. Like, you've, you've taken a step back from that. You've raised your slunken head away from your computer screen and you're out. The video games thing, now, that's that's where I'm going to disagree. I think video games are perfectly fine. They're, like, navigating, like, penetrating through the world. A confident smile on your face. Finally, the life that you've wanted to live. And that's just, that's literally the short term. That's the life you will live weeks from now. Weeks from now, you can have that life. Close your eyes once more and now see this in the long term. See years fly by. Years of you living a life like this. And you see the people around you just living like that unideal bad habit. And it's so different to the way that you've been living. And the law of the compound effect starts really hitting. And your life is so, so different after implementing and saying wouldn't it be funny if behind this green screen he has like a ps5 and like a flat screen tv or something like he's sitting in a green screen right now but like what if that shit just like fell down and he has like a pc desk and like a whole gaming setup inconsistent in all of these good <laughs> my dx racer habits you're a lot older and more mature and like you look built and successful and productive your mental health is so fucking good whilst other people that you know have literally killed themselves and then close your eyes once more years from now you meet her and she has been on the same journey as you and you have children and you're the kind of father you're shaping your followers personalities like that let them live their own like he's literally saying to envision yourself doing exactly what he's saying and then meet someone that matches the personality that he's shaping you to have okay maybe you are a cult leader <laughs> yeah, maybe you are a cult leader you're telling you're changing people's personalities and telling them to meet people that have the same exact personality that you yeah now okay see that's yeah now this is getting weird uh. 
who has been meditating for years, who's physically and mentally healthy, who's grateful and present, warm, loving. You've got brothers around you, men. Yeah, boring. You meet someone, what do you do for fun? Meditate all day? What about, uh, like, you, do you surf? Do you watch any good shows? Anything? No? Oh. You walk in the woods? You really respect who have been on the same pathway. You teach your Pearl son the these things, and he lives a life just like you. Through your son's eyes, Imagine what he sees when it's time for him to go to school. He's, let's say he's a teenager, he's in high school. Imagine how dark and deep the addictions of his generation will be. How different your son will be because of you and the actions that you take today. If there's yeah, and he's going to get bullied. Your son would get bullied. 20 years down the line, you make your son, you give your son a Nokia. 20 years from now. 20 years from now. You give your son a Nokia. He's in like fucking class. Oh, do you have social media? We're going we're going to play Xbox tomorrow. Oh, sorry, my dad makes me sleep on a wooden board with a Nokia. I don't I I give me your phone number though, I can call you. Call. You're gonna get bullied. Like that's not no, that's not you're not helping them. You like it's a societal norm. If you want shit to change, you have to change society. Changing your own your own person's outlook is just going to make them an outcast. And in some scenarios, that's good. But others, like, oh, you're going to hit, you're not going to let your son have technology. That's like, that's not going to help them. One message I could ever give you, one piece of advice you could ever take from me, one advice. A big thing is a cult mentality, like, or not a cult mentality, but like a group mentality about certain things. People all download. If everyone is doing something, other people flock and do the same thing that somebody else is doing. And I mean, that can be one of two ways. It can be either good or really bad. It can be bad in terms of like drug usage and things like that and social media in, in certain degrees, like he's saying, but it can also be bad uh, or it can also be good in regards to like sports or things like that. But like if, if you're if you're giving your son no access to technology and the kids in his class are doing something completely harmless, playing video games with each other at night, you just removed your capability of your son having a friend group. You literally just removed your your son from having friends you made him an outcast and that's bad and then never watch me ever again please make it this prioritize your mental health above everything else and things that reduce your mental health particularly social media video games and porn must be eliminated it's up to you you've gotten the message this is the message you've been waiting for you've gotten like the kick up your butt to say yep Time to take action. Are you going to take action right now? Answer, literally say out loud, no. yes or no. no. Are you going to take this step in the no. right direction? No. And really sit here and contemplate how much these companies, these nerds have you by the balls and say, you know what? That is unacceptable. I'm going to take a big step back from this shit. I'm not watching porn anymore. That shit's disgusting. I'm not playing video games. I don't have time for that shit. Social media, bro. I don't even need it. I'm going to be that, that almost no like Fortnite. mysterious no guy. Fortnite. Turn it off. All right. Now we're done with that shit. He's literally just going to ramble about the same thing again. I'm done with that. Dude, he actually might be a cult leader. That is actually kind of crazy. Blood for the 300 bits. Thank you, chat, for letting me finish the fucking video. I got to go piss, and then we can go to the fucking bus videos that y'all have been waiting for. I don't use Twitch enough, so I'm curious. Is If everyone is subbed and people continue to gift sub, who, if everybody is subbed and people continue to gift subs, who gets the sub? Well, no one would ever be subbed. Uh, my entire following would never be subbed to me. I have 930,000 followers. The most subbed Twitch streamer has 60K. Um, I think you're saying if everyone in my chat was subbed and people keep gifting subs, it would just go to my other followers that aren't online or random people after that. Like, if you're, like, a 10-viewer streamer and people just start randomly gifting subs, uh, like, thousands of subs to, like, a 10-viewer streamer, the subs would go to random uh, Twitch viewers. Like, literally just random people. Count me down 30 seconds, then we'll continue the video. Or we'll go to the other video.
We're back. All right. This is what we're going to do. We're going to watch a few school bus safety videos. And then we're going to watch a Darman. Sorry I lost my shit earlier. But when people keep spamming skip after a video, you know, kind of... Kind of pisses me off a little bit. Uh, school bus safety. I don't know which ones are good, so we're probably going to queue a bunch. And we'll just see how they go. We're going to start with this one. Hi, my name's Gail. And oh, God damn it. 2019 school bus safety video. Hi, my name's Gail, and this is Tracy. We work at the transportation department. We work with bus drivers, assistants, teachers. This is so fucking loud. Oh, my God. Schools, students, and families to keep you safe on the bus. Today, we will help you understand about your role in keeping everyone- Tracy Druby. Student safety manager. Safe on the bus. We will learn about what to do if there is an emergency, and we will also go over the rules for bus stop behavior and behavior on the bus. We have a video for you to watch from the Minnesota State Patrol. They're reading a line. Look at her eyes. They're reading a paragraph. Bro, you couldn't just memorize this shit? They're she keeps looking down. Video for you to watch from the Minnesota State Patrol. This video will help you understand how to ride the bus safely. She looks down like every three seconds. Be ready for the ride. I'm Lieutenant Brian Rue with the oh, State Patrol. Oh, God. School buses are the safest mode of transportation for getting students to and from school. With that said, there are a few things we want you to keep in mind while on or around the school bus. On the bus, it may be tempting School to buses are... Did he say school buses are one of the safest ways to get to school? Dude, you wear a waist seat belt. You wear a waist seat belt. That shit is not safe. I, have you ever thought about that? I've always, dude, if you get in a, if like a regular seatbelt goes around your shoulder. So if you get in a car crash, it catches you. If you're, if you're on a bus and you get in a fucking crash, you are smashing your skull on the seat in front of you. Like actually breaking your neck. Like you're dead. Like you're <laughs> like, like, they're not safe at all. Like they're, my school doesn't have seatbelts. Your school bus doesn't even have seatbelts? <laughs> what? Bro. Yeah, mine mine had the waist ones. It was like a little, like, it was. It would be like an airplane one. Want to goof around and have fun with your friends. Hey, guys, let's not do that. It's going to distract the bus driver, okay? But you need to remember. <laughs> hey, let's not do that. It's going to distract the bus driver. They're like 12 seats back. The bus driver doesn't even fucking see them. That students can do their part in helping the bus driver get to school or get you home safely. Just turn around and sit forward in your seats, please, and get your things out of the aisle. The bus driver. I do have respect for bus drivers. I used to think bus drivers are assholes, but like at the end of the day, dude, the shit they have to deal with, like a middle school bus driver. Oh my god, dude. Like they, oh my, it's just probably screaming and fucking moving around. Oh, Jesus Christ. Needs to Christ. concentrate on driving at all times. They can't be distracted by kids misbehaving in the back. Just one distraction can take a bus driver's eyes off the road. If I was a bus driver and people were like standing up, like fucking around and shit, I would just slam on the brakes. They would go flying. <laughs> that wouldn't be my fault at all. I would literally, I would just be like, and I would say it. I'd be like, every time you get up, I'm slamming on the fucking brakes. When that and happens, you're gonna fucking bust ass. Crashes can happen in the blink of an eye. Turn around and sit down in your seat, please. We want your bus driver to be able to drive safely. And having well-behaved students on the bus is going to help the driver do their job. Safety on the bus starts at the bus stop. It's important for students to arrive at the bus stop at least five minutes early so they are not running into the street or down the sidewalk to get to the bus at the last second. Remember to respect the property of others. Dude, well, there was a time my bus driver fucking skipped my house. I remember I waited. It was in middle school. I waited outside in, like, fucking January for, like, literally 30 minutes. And they just, they just never came. But the bus came. I And I would always wait outside. I was always, like, that kid that, because I was always so nervous when I was younger that I would miss the bus and then I would miss school and all that. So I would go outside like 15 minutes early, right? And I was there for like the 15 minutes until they were supposed to come. And then 30 minutes after that. So actually 45 minutes, right? Never showed up. Never showed up. I had to call my mom. I was like, 
it, like, you got to take me to class. I was like, I'm I, like, the bus driver just didn't fucking pick me up. Uh, and then she got fired. <laughs> not, not because of that, not because of me, but it was apparently very commonplace that she didn't pick people up. <laughs> I was like, how are you a bus driver? And you just like casually just always miss, miss houses. I was like, I feel like that should be like something that you, the one thing you don't fuck up. Like you pick up the people. Waiting for the bus. As the bus arrives, students should form For one time? Oh my god. I was in middle school. Again, because this is always like middle school type shit when this happens. A kid fell asleep on the bus after school. We get... Like, I was like the second to last house on drop-off. They drop me off. I walk by. And I look down. And I see the kid. And he's like the third drop-off. And I'm like, what the fuck? And I tell the teacher that... I, or I tell the bus driver. Bus driver had to drive the kid back like 30 minutes. I was like, how the fuck do you, like, fall asleep and not get off at the right, like, bus stop? Like, that's his fault that time. Dude, I would be pissed, though, if I was the bus driver. I had to drive that kid all the way back. Single fuck line no. and wait on the sidewalk or a safe spot away from the road. Allow the bus to come to a complete stop. Don't start moving until the driver signals that it's safe to do so. Dude, he Once looks like a bus driver. Like, bus drivers have a look. You know what I mean? The doors are open, and the bus driver gives you the signal to board the bus. Give your fellow students enough room to step onto the bus and walk to their seats. Don't crowd each other, and don't push or rush to get to your favorite Oh, I seat. hated being in there the front. There are plenty of spots for everyone. Chat, where's the best front, middle, or back? Best seat on the bus. Back, middle. Back, middle. Middle, like, you're it, it's front, middle, middle to back. The reason being, all the way in the back sucks. Because when you hit us, it was kind of fun, though. When you would hit, like, a bump, you you know how you would go flying in the back of the bus? Because, like, the whole back of that, like, the whole back tires would pick up. You would fucking, you would, be, you would take, you'd take air. That shit was fun. But then sometimes you would hurt yourself. So, like, sitting, like, four seats from the back, that's the best. Always avoid the danger zone. The danger zone is any area within 10 feet of the bus. Especially avoid the areas directly in front of and towards the right rear of the bus. Once you're on the bus, make sure you stay seated until the bus comes to a full stop at your destination. Oh, Jesus Christ. Never cross the street without waiting for the driver's signal that it's safe to cross. If you must cross the street, always cross in front of the bus. Walk at least 10 feet in front of the bus so the driver can see you at all times and know that all of the students have made it safely across the road. This is like oh, giving like flashbacks, bro. I fucking hated bus drives. They're actually the worst. On the bus, it's important we do our job. Yeah, where are their backpacks? And why did that kid have like a guitar case? They none of them have fucking bags. The bus, the bus driver. That means no fighting, throwing things, or standing up on the bus. We all need to help the bus driver concentrate on driving. They paid when these kids. To they paid these kids. There is no shot a kid would willingly say, "We need to help the bus driver have a good drive." We're not supposed to sit up. Be rambunctious. No kid would ever fucking say that. Actually, no kid would ever say that. We're home. We should use our inside voices. Keep our hands to ourselves. Keep the aisle clear and stay seated with our backs against the seat. This will let the bus driver see us in their mirror and keep you safe if we are ever in a crash. Finally, if you see kids not following, keep the you safe if you're ever in a crash. If you're in a crash, you're fucking dead. You're dead. You're dead. In a, you're going like sixty in a bus. You fucking head on nail something. Everyone in that bus is dead. I'm, um, dude. No, you don't have a seatbelt on. You're dead. It, it's fucking over. Okay. The bus flips. Your head's gonna fucking smash the metal roof. You're dead. All bus safety rules. It's all of our responsibility to help the bus driver. Don't be afraid to speak up and tell your friends to sit down or stop throwing objects. Let's not do that, okay? While school bus crashes are rare, it's important to always know how to evacuate the bus safely. Hey, everybody. We have to remain calm. I was all. I always wanted to go out of the top. You know how there's that top latch on every on every school bus? I've always wanted to fucking open that shit and crawl through. I never wanted to get into a car crash in a bus, but I was like, that would be pretty cool to be able to like crawl out of that. In the event of an emergency, it may be necessary to evacuate. If the bus driver is injured and can't communicate with the students, the students should evacuate and call for help. As we evacuate, I need everybody to go into the field about 30 yards away. The older students on the bus may need oh, to take charge. Dude. Oh, you. dude, that would have been so fun. Oh, that would have been so fun. Younger students evacuate. Yeah, it's a field. There are three types of emergency exits inside most buses. One in the rear of the bus, and another one or two on the roof. 
Most buses also have side emergency exit windows. Everybody line up in a single file line, we'll exit out the back. The entrance door can be used as a point of evacuation. Leave all your items on the bus, we'll get those later. If evacuation is necessary, students should always use the closest and safest exit to get off the bus. Is everybody all right? Remain calm and leave all of your belongings on the bus. Proceed directly to the best exit. I need the older students to help. We need to do the emergency exit out of the roof hatch. Bro's, Bro's got a staff shirt. The bus rolls on its side. The safest exit may be on the roof. You may need to help each other through the emergency exit. Oh, fuck no. I'm saving myself. I'm sa <laughs> Yo, no, like dead ass though. If I'm on <laughs> Yeah, I'm out, bitch. I'm breaking that window. People can, you know, people can file behind me through through the fucking the, the hole that I make through the fucking metal bus. But like, I'm getting myself out of that. Hey, good job, guys. Get away from the bus. Once you're outside of the bus, hey, we need a single file line. We need to cut off everybody. Make sure everybody's all right. Students should all meet and stay together in a safe place that is away from other traffic, danger areas, fire. Dude, smoke. I hate school safety videos. The worst is bomb drills. I've ranted about this before. Fucking stupid shit. I gotta make a YouTube video about that. I wanna cue that up. Do they have bomb safety drills on fucking YouTube? I gotta rant about that. Bomb safety drill school. Those are the worst. Oh, oh yeah, bomb safety drill, everybody. We're gonna walk out to a field. We're gonna walk out to a field and all stand there after a bomb threat's just been called. Oh yeah, let's all just stand in the same place. I never understood that. I never understood that. Y'all have bomb drills? I had them. Dude, it was, and we had bomb threats. They would call a bomb threat, and the entire school would go to the football field. And all I could think about was someone could just call a bomb threat, wait for everybody to walk out to the football field, and then kill everybody there. I was like, that's just idiotic. We're all going to the same spot when, the, when someone threatens of a bomb. We always go to the same spot. We never switch it up. We're always just going to walk to the football field without question. Somebody could just call in a bomb threat, we'll go to the football field, place the bombs in the football field. Like what? That shit doesn't make sense. All right, this video sucks. We're going to find a different, we're going to find a different school bus safety video. Um What's this one? I feel like these like the homemade ones are even funnier. Atlanta public school bus safety video. Atlanta public school bus safety tips. Welcome aboard the Atlanta public school bus. I'm Charles, the bus safety nerd, and I'm out here to teach you important rules and regulations on how to enjoy the bus ride. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride. Do your glasses only have one? Thank you, guys. I'm out here to teach you important rules and regulations. His glasses only have one ear thing. Guys, I'm out here to teach you important rules and regulations. <laughs> <laughs> but you couldn't get him a pair of normal glasses for the fucking video? I had to enjoy the bus ride. So sit back. Relax and enjoy the ride safely. The student code of conduct applies to all modes of transportation to and from school, school related activities, or under or while under supervision of Atlanta public school personnel. Jesus Christ, I didn't know the message was going to be that long. I wouldn't have paused. Before the APS bus arrives, it's not even raining. Prepare in advance for inclement weather so you don't have to rush to the bus. Fuck that. Bringing an umbrella to school? Are you on crack? I would just stand outside. I would literally just stand in the rain and wait. Like I'm in some like Bart Simpson type fucking sad shit. That's what I would do. It would dead ass rain. Bart Simpson raining. Hold up. Like some sad shit. This would be me, waiting for the school bus. Just fucking, just fucking sitting there. Is it here yet? I would be sopping wet. Like, covered, covered in water. 
Is it here yet? It's still not here. And it wouldn't pull up for like minutes, dude. I would just, it, it would be a while that I would be out there. Why do they not have bags? Like, are they, or why do, why do none of these students have bags? Hold on there, son. Never run to the bus. Always come five minutes early. Yeah. Before boarding the bus. Always take two steps back as the school bus approaches. Never line up too close to the bus. Always take two steps back as the school bus approaches. If some kid told, I would, I would actually, I would actually just push him out of the fucking way. If I was getting on a bus and some kid was like, it just jumped in front of me. I always take two steps back while the door opens. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Wait, why? His glasses broke then, because his glasses are are perfectly fine there. They just definitely broke at the end of the video when they had to film the intro. Hey. Avoid all horseplay and actions that can lead to carelessness. <laughs> <laughs> actions that can lead to carelessness. Refrain from pushing, fighting, or any other unsafe activity at the bus stop. Close off all food and drink containers before I arrive on the bus. Is that really a bus rule? You're not allowed to eat or drink food on the bus? Girl, you can ride the bus with me. Hold on. This is not your bus. Why just sign bus only? Why would why would you why would you be waiting at the same bus stop for a different bus? That makes no fucking sense. All students must have an authorized permission from the school in order to ride a different bus or to get off at a different bus stop. I remember that. That makes sense to me. That's actually like a solid rule. Just because then you can't keep track of people. Stop! Put the bus in a single file line. March! <laughs> you think they paid this kid to fucking do this video or you think he did it willingly? I would never make this video willingly. They better be giving me like a, a, an extra hundred test score or some shit. Fuck Sketchy for the sub, Expo for the sub, TJB for the sub. Uh, oh shit, I missed a lot of donos. Uh, Sensei Wu for the sub, Nightmare. Uh, for the 300 bits, how are you? I'm good. Grizzly for the 300 bits, Joe got mad at me. Milky for the sub, Bixer for the 300 bits, keep the stream up, thank you. When would be a good time to just sit and chat with you? It's my first time saying something after three months because i haven't had a time to catch your live streams and i've always had questions also i wouldn't know about the bus because i'm 22 and was taken out of school in the third grade currently getting my ged you were taken out of school in the third grade really uh and i don't know what a good time would uh be to chat in all honesty Lope for the 300 bits but i'll answer your questions um i've always attempted to open the emergency door at the back of the bus and jump off while it's driving you tried that you probably got kicked off the fucking bus scuff for the 300 bits there was a bomb threat at my school, and they made everybody go into the auditorium. Yeah, what a great idea. Toast for the 300 bits. What about tornado drills? Never had that. Weston for the sub. Riley for the sub. No <laughs> nah, he did this willingly. I can, I can predict this kid's personality based on what he just did right there. He wanted to do this. They needed a volunteer. They needed a volunteer, and he was like, this will be fun. And so he did it. 100% he did this. The beast for the sub. I had friends like that. I had friends in high school that if it was something stupid like this, they would willingly do it. Just because it, it like got them out of class or whatever. Hey. Stop. Go straight your seat when you enter the bus. While riding the bus. <laughs> Why do they even have this guy fucking saying anything? He just has one, he has one liners. Deja. Deja. Who, me? Yes, you. Come on up to the front of the bus. Well, I gotta move. Stop. Always follow bus driver's instructions. I'm fucked now. Seat, please. Keep your hands and feet in front of you while the bus is in motion. 
Place all personal belongings in your lap. Oh, that is so gross. Laying on the fucking bus floor. They don't clean that shit. Should be small enough to held in a student's lap. She's trying not to laugh. A, B, C, D, E. Talk in a civil tone and avoid yelling across Okay, the this eyes. is pissing me off. I actually can't watch this. It's, it's actually just getting... I'm actually just getting annoyed. I'm actually getting annoyed. I have to watch a different one. This is actually just fucking pissing me off right now. Bus safety evacuation and rules. Every bus has nine emergency exits that you should know about. The most obvious of these is the front door. To unlock the doors, look for the emergency release lever. Fuck no, I am I'm tanking that shit. I'm slamming that with my body until it fucking opens. Press firmly on the door. And it will open. Next. Yeah, what nine escapes are there on the bus? There's two emergency windows. I remember this shit. Two emergency windows. The front door, the back door, the roof. Maybe another roof? What other three? The fucking, uh, the front window? What do I, uh, karate kick it out? Swifty for the sub, macho, and big strong for the sub. There are four window emergency Oh, there's four exits. windows? To make I wouldn't fit through that. I remember always looking at this, like, I wouldn't fit through this fucking window. Like, how the hell... To make the windows open, simply lift up on the lever and push out. Oh, I would fit through that. Never mind. In the event but, that... Nah, I don't know. I don't think that many people would fit through that. I think I would have to kind of squeeze through that. I what if what if someone doesn't fit through that? The bus may turn on its side, turn the latch, and firmly press up. Like the fucking linebacker on the football team, he ain't fitting through that. He ain't fitting through the fucking top roof either, dude. I remember there were so many kids in my class that were like literally just like beef, like actually just like easy three twenty linebackers in football. I'm like they're not fitting through that shit. They go on this bus, they're dead. They're dead. If they have to get out of this. If you push hard enough, the whole latch will fall completely off and you can crawl out to safety. If you're near the back of the bus, use the rear exit door. To open it, simply lift on the lever and push the door out. Once the door is open, sit and slide. Are you fucking kidding me? Sit and slide? You can't handle a fucking three foot drop? Sit and slide? That's taking way too much time out of this shit. The car's on fucking fire. I'm just gonna be hauling ass out of there. I'm not gonna. I'm, oh, hold up, hold up, hold up. I stop my run. I sit down. No, I'm jumping out of that. The first ones out of the bus should help the other ones evacuate quickly. Dude, is this voiced over? And slide. The first ones out of the bus should help the other ones evacuate quickly. Don't be afraid to accept help. Is this voice, this, that was voiced over. The ninth exit that you probably don't know about is the driver's window. Who the fuck is fitting through that? Event of an emergency, open the window and climb out. Bro, you ain't fitting through that. I would say the majority of people would not fit through that window. Ass first, ass first. I just fold like a fucking sandwich. I go head first. Head first, I fucking die on the way out. My head crushes the bottom. My skull cracks open, I fucking bleed out. Okay, was this was this filmed in like 2003, 2008? I was gonna say this looks this looks old as fuck. Clearly states you're supposed to be at the bus stop five minutes before the scheduled arrival. Okay. Did you, did you see that, you see that fire the other day? Uh, Excuse me, so. Matthew C. Bailey. You were supposed to remain seated at all times, back to back, bomb to bomb. You know what this reminds me of? Zoe 101. This literally just feels like Zoe 101. Um, oh yeah, feet to the ground. It's like, I can't even believe that. Excuse me. Do you think going to high school in the early 2000s was boring? 
I've always wondered what it was like. Because it looks so nostalgic, but I feel like it would be pretty ass. Do you think it was cool or boring? Like, you ever see, like, the early 2000s? Hold up. I could probably find, like, high school. Like, what it looked like. Like, this looks, like, nostalgic. But it also looks probably really boring. Like, this looks kind of ass. Like, no lie. Oh my god, that lunch looked fucking awful. I feel like it might have been more fun, though. Especially P.E. I feel like P.E. in the early 2000s, you could damn near, like, fist fight someone and that counted as class. Like, like, like they would have just let that shit slide. Like, they wouldn't have cared. Um... Toast for the 300 bets. Imagine curling into a ball and covering your neck for 5 to 10 minutes. Is that a thing for uh, a bus? Phantom for the sub. Classic for the 300 bets. Can't wait to see you later tonight, Joey Boo. I don't know who you are. Vin Run for the 300 bets. Tomato drills are when they have you go in the hallways side by side with your classmates face down, sitting on your knees with your arms covering your head for 20 minutes. Oh, a tornado drill. You literally just sit like that for 20 minutes. That's so ass. Grizzly for the 10. Well, I know I was being a dick earlier, but I really love your TikToks. Thank for, thanks for looking at my account. Uh, what do you mean, thanks for looking at your account? Uh, and thank you. Thank you for the 10. Oh, I just looked at your account. Oh, you were this guy with that, that profile picture. Dr. Smoke for the three. Bro, watching you while high is the funniest thing. That's a job. You're not supposed to have any gum, food, candy, or drink. No exceptions. That includes alcohol and tobacco. Well, no shit. They're high. What, is she going to pour it out? <coughs> that what, what alcohol is orange? <coughs> that includes alcohol and tobacco. Our bus is supposed to be a clean environment. Oh my god. Y'all remember when I told you about the story when <laughs> when my friend pissed in a Dorito bag on the way to a track meet, spilled it, and then it, it all went on that. Like, you know you know the grates here? His piss just, like, lined the, the, <laughs> the, like, flooring. Because I've told so many piss stories on a bus and how I accidentally poured piss on my own bus and all that. Uh, like, outside, threw it outside, got on the bus, stay in the bus. That's happened a few times. Uh, or that's happened once for me. Actually, twice. Uh, but the second time, it wasn't that bad. But, yeah. No. Wh why is everybody saying what? I've told that story like seven times. I feel like I should just make that into a YouTube video. Where I just tell the story. Just because, like, I've told it so many times and people still don't know what I'm talking about. Okay. I used to run track in high school. Real quick rundown. I used to run track in high school. Uh, and we would go, like, four hours away from a meet. We wouldn't stop, right? So we would all, uh, me and all the track guys would bring a bottle to piss in if you had to piss. One time I filled the bottle, like, an hour into a four-hour drive, and I didn't have any more bottles. So I had to get rid of the bottle, right, uh, to be able to piss in it again. And so I poured it out of the window. Um, and I didn't want to do it while we were stopped because then he would notice and hear it. So I did it when he was going, like, 30 miles an hour. And the piss just, like, kind of warped and smacked the window like, everywhere, and it stayed in the bus. And I never admitted that it was me. Uh, no one ever asked if it was me. I think the bus driver thought it was, like, something else. I don't, I, I don't assume he immediately thought it was piss. But, no, I covered the bus in piss by accident. Um, there was another time my friend didn't have a bottle. He pissed in a Dorito bag. That's when he dropped it because it was full and he was holding it like this. Like, imagine a Ziploc bag full of piss. And he had to pour it out, and he dropped it, and then it poured all over the ground. It was disgusting. Very, Very funny, though. Our bus is supposed to be a clean environment for everyone. Even you. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> you threw a bag on a bus? bus? Number nine, you are not supposed to throw any objects in or out of the bus. Is that a dog? Because that doesn't look like your sack lunch to me. Who would bring a pet on their bus? I it, it, That needs to be a solidified rule. Do people do that? I've never seen someone bring their pet on a bus. 
<laughs> I've seen people smuggle hermit crabs, though, and like little things. No, we're not. Cause for their fish. Profanity! 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 No bad words on this bus, young lady. Okay. Taylor, before we get started, I need for you to move up towards the front, please. Oh my god. You know what's weird is bus drivers still look like this. Like, people don't look like that. Like, like the style of, like, everyone throughout the years has changed. But bus drivers are, like, this dead center, the same. Like, this was, like, literally, like, what, 14 years ago? And every bus driver still looks exactly like that. That doesn't make any sense. Why? What am I doing? Why? I'll tell you why. Because bus rule number one, the bus driver has all right to make reasonable requests. <laughs> She fucked that sentence up so much. The bus driver has all right to make reasonable requests. The bus driver has all right to make reasonable requests. That's where I was. Okay, let's do a reenactment. I was about here. I poured the piss out of the bus. And it traveled and smacked and covered this area. I wish I had a picture of it. I should have taken a picture of it. Because we got off the bus and I acted like it. I was like, oh my god. I remember looking at my friends and they were like, dude. And then we just left. And then when we came back, it was clean. So I think he went to the, the car wash. Jake for the 300 bets. Uh, SJN for the 300 bets. I want to tell you, hey Joe, I want to tell my crush I like her. And I've known her for around a year. She has agreed to go to Six Flags with me. And I was wondering if I should tell her that I like her there. Or would it ruin the moment? I'm also scared. Are you two going alone to Six Flags? If you're going alone to Six Flags, I would assume she would assume it's a date. Uh, so she already has some inkling that you're into her. Um, but I would tell her, you know? Tell her on the roller coaster, you know? Just uh, mid roller. No, don't do that. But no, you could tell her there. I, I wouldn't say, I don't be like, I like you. But, like, I don't know, try to hold her hand or some shit on the, while you're walking around. Something like that. I don't fucking know. Don't be like, I like you. Like, that's going to come off weird. While you're on the road. Everybody's saying kidnap her. Okay, stop. Stop. My chat gives the worst advice. All right, you, you want to know the best advice? You're going to stare. While, while you're on a roller coaster, you're sitting next to each other. Just stare at her. And, like, don't break eye contact the entire time. Right? You're just on the on the roller coaster around the loop de loops, just just stare at her, right? And then when she finally sees that you're staring at her, just be like, "I'm really into you." And then like some shit. Be, yeah, no, just play it off cool though. Play it off cool. It'll definitely work. It'll definitely work. Now nah, don't do that. Don't do that. That ass don't do that. She'll freak out. That one dude on TikTok that stares at the camera the whole time. Yeah, like that. But if, if you don't want to tell her that you like her, go to Six Flags, have a good time, maybe try and hold her hand or something, and then when you're done, just, like, either text her or say before you leave, like, we should hang out again. Do that, you know what I mean? And that's, like, that shows that you're interested. You don't got to rush it, right? Hey, bus rule number four says you are supposed to be in the bus, not out in the window. Yes, ma'am. Uh-oh, 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 rambunctious. There's no fighting on the school bus. No fighting on the bus. You are supposed to be totally silent at the railroad crossing. Why, so she can hear if a fucking train's coming? That's actually a rule, be silent at a railroad crossing? That's stupid. Jakey for the sub. Hold up, I gotta hear if the train's gonna hit us. We are stuck on the railroad tracks. Evacuate the bus immediately. <laughs> <laughs> There's a train on the railroad tracks. Evacuate the bus immediately. Just keep driving. Just keep just keep driving. Why did you pull over? Why did you pull over on on the train tracks? You stopped before. You just stopped on the train tracks. Uh, abort the bus. Abort the bus. Oh my God. All oh my God. Just keep on driving. The bus. We just need to get your person outside. This is going to be 
be the best video ever if they actually got a train to nail a bus. Run 100 feet away from the bus and never go back for anything? Nah, bro. I'm grabbing my bag. I'm grabbing my bag, bro. I'm grabbing my bag. I fucking leave. I leave my phone or some shit. Nah, I'm grabbing that shit. I'm going back. I'm going back. No! We made it to safety this time. If it hadn't been any closer, we might not have made it. That's why knowing the proper way to evacuate is so important. In the event of an emergency, a bus can burn down within two minutes. That's not a lot of time. So knowing the proper ways to evacuate can be the difference in your life or your friend's life. I just love bus safety. Oh my god, can we zoom out? Why are we like fucking literally three inches away from their face? I see for Rules this one through 25. <sighs> They're like my best friends. <laughs> Yo, this has 25 million views. I actually found an exception to the no drink rule. If someone has medication they would need to take with liquid, otherwise the pill would get stuck in the person's throat. The person could either choke on the pill, have a hard time swallowing, ruin his or her esophagus, or the medication not work properly. Refusing someone liquid when they have to take pills seems like a legitimate lawsuit. <laughs> oh my god alright we're gonna watch a Darman video I'm done with fucking bus safety that was pretty funny though alright what Darman video should we watch what Darman video should we watch remix for the 300 bets the latest one the newest one is the newest one good What is the newest Darman video? Mean girl leaks teen's diary in school. Oh, that one sounds cringe. Dude, how often do they post? Holy shit. I didn't realize Darman posts this much. Dude, he posts like multiple times a week. I thought it was like once a week max. Taco man life's changed in 24 hours. Teen caught sneaking into a party. Little sister blackmails big brother. Dorky kid picked on in high school. I kind of want to watch this one. I feel like this one might be like some some crazy shit. The Taco Man one is good. Dude, this one looks good. Dorky kid picked on in high school. What happens next is shocking. They're all cringe. Well, yeah, every Darman video is cringe, but some of them are funny. Like funny cringe. Students break into school. They live to regret it. Maybe that one. Should we watch students break into school? Students break into school or dorky kid? Which one? Pick one. Grandma's for the sub. I don't know craze for the sub. Do a poll. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go use the bathroom real quick. Do a poll on like three of them. Oh, I'm, I almost just ended my stream. Yikes. I'm gonna go pee real quick. One of my mods, do a poll. The dorky one or breaking into school? Count me down thirty seconds. Which one won? Oh, you're voting on it now. Vote on it. That's how we'll determine which one we're going to watch. Then we'll go from there. Uh, we can watch both eventually, but like right now I only have time for one. So we'll watch one.
Wash your hands. Fuck off. Okay, everybody voted the breaking into school. I was going to say that one That one seems way better. Mm, 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 mm. Best for the 300 bets. Hi, Joe. My name is Marlon. My wife, Coral, unfortunately passed away from a barracuda attack. My son, Nemo, chased after a boat, and I'm lonely, but your streams keep the flaps flapping. So you're saying you're the person from Finding Nemo. Okay, we're, walking, we're watching the breaking into school one. Students break into school, they live to regret it. Chris! Um, what? Sleeping in class. Again. Well, I wasn't sleeping. Mm. I was resting my eyes. Mm, right, 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 right. Okay, well, if that's the case... Have y'all ever fallen asleep in class? I don't know, Craze, for the 20 gifted... Uh, not 20 gifted, the $20 dono. Thank you for the 20 I don't know, Craze, you're a beast. Uh, I've fallen asleep in class a few times. It's terrifying. Because then you wake up and the teacher's looking at you. I did it in college. I did it in college, no lie. I had an 8 a.m. last semester. I fell asleep twice. I was sitting like this, just knocked. Like, literally went like this. And then I woke up like that and the teacher was looking at me. I was like, oh, fuck, dude. But I don't think college professors really give a shit. Because they're getting paid either way. Your performance doesn't really matter. Then answer my question. Who does Lydia Bennett marry? Uh, uh, it was in the re- Uh, Vin Run for the 300 bets. Ain't that the kid that got jumped for drugs? Yeah, they use- Dartman uses a lot of actors repeatedly. I assigned last night. Gosh, it was, um... It starts with a W. You know what, Chris? If Dude, you were there was one- Yo, quick story time. Because she brought up reading. My sophomore year in high school. Uh, four years ago. We used to have to read, like, a book almost every other week. It was so ass. It was honors uh, British literature. I hate, or not British literature. It was American lit. Honors American literature. Worst class I have ever taken in my entire life almost. I hated the class. It was so fucking stupid. You're reading Tom Sawyer. It, like, that wasn't that bad because, like, you, like Tom Sawyer is actually, like, a well-known story. But, like, we had to read all this shit, right? And what was funny was no one would ever read it except this one kid in our class that was really smart and he ended up taking all these APs later on and all that. He sat in the front of the class, right? There was 30 kids in the class. No one would ever read the stories. And every day we would take a true or false quiz on what we just read. And he would literally sit and he would hold behind his back a one or a two every day. And we would all have, we would all, it was one or two, one or two, one or two. One was true, two was false. And we would all, we would all just look at what he did. And everyone would just cheat off of him. Like literally the entire class. Like no lie, the entire class would, would cheat off of him. Uh, there was other times. I, I, I just didn't try in American Lit because I hated it. Every other literature class, I, I tried so... Like, I took World Lit the next year, my junior year in high school, uh, which was, what, 2018, 2019? Uh, 2019 my, was my junior year in high school. I took World Lit, one of my most favorite classes that I ever took. Um, I tried my ass off in that class, did really well. And kids would cheat off me in that class. Uh, and then, same thing with Bio. Like, I took AP Bio... And, like, people, like, there was classes where, like, I didn't try, and then it was, like, the reverse. Like, some people were good at something, some people were good at other things, so people would help each other out. I don't like the idea of cheating, but, like, in a class like that, where it was literally American lit, which was, like, genuinely useless with anything that I was ever going to do within my entire life, I just didn't, I didn't care. Like, I was like, I'm not gonna fucking take, I, I, I wanted to play Fortnite. My sophomore year, Fortnite was in its peak. It was 2017, 2018, right? It was my sophomore year in high school. I wanted to play Fortnite. I didn't give a fuck. Light bulbs for the sub, David, for 300 bets. So busy playing video games. Fortnite. Exactly. Exa literally. And actually did the reading. You might know the answer. I wasn't playing last mm. night. I did read. Mm. I just can't remember his name. Well, hold on. Look, isn't the point of the book to not make assumptions about other people? Oh, ooh. <laughs> Seeing that you don't know the answer, Chris, I presume my assumptions are spot 
on. Oh my Our god, another story too. My American Lit teacher was so old. She was nice, but she was like really mean in class. Like sweet lady, but like in class she was kind of like a hard ass. She would make us put our phones in a basket. And she didn't, because she was so old, she didn't understand the grasp of like controlling your phone from your Apple Watch. So people would play music and like sounds in the basket, but not be near the basket. And she would like freak out. Like, where's that sound coming from? And, like, she would go to it, and she would, she would, like, try and turn off the phone, and it wouldn't fucking work. Oh, my God, dude. She would lose it. Actually fucking lose it. Bets for the thousand bets. Seriously, though, Joe Bart streams are a dub. Thank you for being an S-tier streamer. Thank you. I wish I was richer so I could give you more money, but seriously, W streamer, you don't need to give me more money, bro. You don't need to give money at all. Watching's enough. But thank you, Bez, for the thousand bets. Arthur, would you grace the class with who Lydia Bennett marries? Lydia marries Mr. Wickham. Wickham. That is correct. I know I can always count on you, Arthur. <coughs> Nerd! Nerd? Nah. I wouldn't make fun of somebody for knowing the information. Because my... Like, this is literally how it went. My freshman and sophomore year in high school, I never tried. Literally was, like, probably a, a low B student. And then I started trying my junior or senior year. Immediately, like, just got all A's. Just because I was actually fucking trying. But, like, trying doesn't mean you're a nerd. And being a nerd isn't bad either. Cactus for the sub. So if you're trying in class, nothing wrong with that. If somebody calls you a nerd because you know the answer, just makes them seem stupid. All right, who said that? Eliza Owen. What's so interesting? Nothing. Hmm. You know the rules. No cell phones in class. That bro here. looks 26 years it's just old. It's a drawing that we were actually working on for school. What is this? Is this graffiti? <clears throat> yeah, this doesn't look school related to me. Actually, it's... You know, you three need to start paying attention. I'm keeping a close eye on you. All of you. All right, everybody turn to page 51. Oh my god, that was close. Dude, all these people are like in their late 20s. 51. Why don't they get, like, actual, like, high school actors? Oh, my God, that was close. Good thing she didn't swipe. Okay, we gotta be more careful. If she finds out, she's gonna ruin the whole thing. No, for sure. Look, guys, if we can pull this off, it's gonna be sick. <laughs> I thought we weren't allowed to have phones in class. <laughs> all right, all right, that's enough. You three, front row right now. I'm sorry, Arthur. You guys need to move. Yo, question. Do y'all sit in the front? Where do you sit in class if you have the choice? You want my honest answer? And I have people tell me this all the time. And I'm going to say this. And it sounds like such a fucking nerd boomer thing to say. But I heard it from a boomer. So sit in the front of class. If you have the option of where to sit, sit either in the first or the second row. I usually sit in the second row just because I don't like sitting like front and center. But sit closer to the uh, closer to the front of the class. I'm pretty sure it's proven the closer you are to the front of the class, the better your grades are. On average. People that sit in the back generally do worse. Uh, not always, but a lot of the time. Just because you're, you're more motivated to pay attention if you know that the teacher is going to be looking at you. And they tend to call on and look at people that are in the first two rows rather than the back. Uh, but I'm not saying that people in the back always do worse. I'm saying just statistically, you will generally do better if you sit in the front. This is nah, they out. call on the back? No, they call on the back when the back people aren't t paying attention. That's why they call people in the back. Hectic for the sub. I uh, caught wind of some students planning a senior prank. Hmm. So, uh, I want uh, all of the staff looking for some suspicious activity. Absolutely. Last year, they were feeding a building. Mm. We can't have that again. No. Do you happen to know who may be behind the prank? Mm, no, not yet. But keep your ears. Dude, I didn't even get a senior prank. How lame is that shit? I didn't even get a senior prank because of COVID. COVID, co when COVID hit... That was my senior year. 
like 2020, I graduated, and it hit in like what, like March. I didn't even get to do a senior prank. That shit sucked. Just your eyes open. What's a senior prank? A lot of high schools uh, have like a tradition where seniors do something to the school or a teacher or something. Um, one year, the year bef the the class before mine uh, picked up a teacher's car and moved it into the gymnasium. Uh, one of the teachers had, like, a really light, like, uh, Volkswagen, and they picked it up and moved it uh, in <laughs> into the gym. Uh, and we couldn't do anything like that. Oh, I certainly will. The flying saucer for the sub. Miss Brunel, I just wanted to ask if there were any other... Picked it up, yeah. A Volkswagen, a Volkswagen doesn't wet. Volkswagen. Beetle. Wait. They, I know they moved it. Yeah, 3,000 pounds. You can move it. A 3,000 pound Volkswagen, if you had like probably 20 guys, you could pick up the car. Like you could, you could feasibly all just stand around the entire car and pick it up. Credit Not Albert. now, Arthur. Dork. Hey, Miss Brunel, can I help you? I know what you three are up to. Uh, you, you, you do? I wasn't born yesterday. I saw the spray paint. And I'm telling you right now, I have no problems calling the police and having all of you arrested for vandalism. I would spray paint her car. I would spray paint her fucking car. If she was just... I was like, a senior prank is a part of a high school experience. Teachers that get so hard-pressed about it are fucking idiots. Like, they're so annoying. Like, a senior prank is literally a part of, like, high school. Like, so, like, you just being like, I'm going to call the police on you. Go fist yourself, lady. You hear me? <laughs> like, <laughs> fuck off. Said, like, actually annoying. You said spray paint? What kind of senior prank would you have done uh, if you were allowed to? Well, I mean, there was nothing that was not allowing me to do a senior prank. It was just we weren't at school, so there was no point in doing anything. I don't know what I would have done. I really don't know what I would have done. Uh, we ended up talking. You know when you, you know how you can, like, flip? Say you get a cup of water. And you can, like, put something over it, flip it over, and then pull it off, and it's just sitting there. We wanted to do that, but in the entire school. Like, have, like, thousands of cups of, not thousands, hundreds of cups of water. You flip it over, and you leave it there. And then, But then you're just a dickhead to the, to the, what's it called? Then you're just an asshole to the, the, the fucking cleaners. And so I didn't, we didn't want to do that. We thought about just filling, like, the whole school with balloons because then everybody could just clean that up. Uh, just shit like that. Uh, scuffed for the 300 bets. They let a small pig loose in school one year for a senior prank. Dominator 3. My local high school in New Jersey gave 100 people rare cancer. They all went to the same high school. Oh, because of, like, what, like asbestos or something? The Jan. I, I literally forgot the name of that. Really? What's in your backpack? What's in the backpack? Water bottle. It's just agua. It's just thirsty. Just you don't have a warrant. You don't have a warrant to look at the spray paint. This isn't. How much you to bet the twist? The nerd's gonna do it. The nerd does it. The nerd does the prank. Wait, no. That's not. That doesn't match the title. No way. <laughs> Mark my words. That's what happened to my school. There were there were PCBS. Now I go to school in a Macy's. You attend? What do you mean you go to school in a Macy's? Stephen for the three hundred bits. We filled an auditorium with small paper cups of water. Zip tied the freshman. Zip tied the freshman locker shut. Oh, that's fucked. Annabelle for the five hundred bits. You heard about the people who put a real shark up for senior prank? What? I know the year, the not the year before mine, they moved the car. Two years before that, they ended up, uh, they had a petting zoo. Like, they all brought goats to school and shit. I was like, what the fuck? I wish I could have thought of something like that, or done that. Uh, but COVID hit. But it's whatever. Oh, it was a fake shark? Thank God you had that. <laughs> For real. You guys, I think she's on to us. Do you think this is still a good idea? Oh, they are yeah, doing it. Get back out now. Come on. Let's get it. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> that had me sweating, bro. <laughs> I know. It's so close. <laughs> it's going to be good. Oh. We got this. All right. So meet me in the house later and we'll go over the plan? Absolutely. All right. 
Also, a senior prank encompasses a majority of seniors, not three students. Like, when you pull a senior prank, generally speaking, the entire senior class, if not at least half of the senior class, knows. Like, this isn't just, like, a three-person thing. Like, your whole class would be in on it. Even if they're not doing it, they would be in on it. Hater for the sub. Also, the teacher's literally stalking them. <laughs> like, he doesn't see her. She's fucking hiding behind the car. Bro, is she at their house? That can't be legal. If she followed them home. Bro! So excited, it's gonna be fun. I think you can spread out. <laughs> can't wait to see the look on this everyone's face so when I see this. This is the nails, never gonna see. <laughs> Let's go. Yellow's mine. Are they just hanging up a sign? I know who's pulling the prank. <laughs> she takes a picture of them. Dude, no lie. If I was in high school and we were at my house planning a senior prank and I like look and there's like a, my teacher hiding behind the tree, I would actually chase them. Like I would actually chase them. I would be like, what the fuck? You followed me home. That has to be illegal. Unexistent for the sub. What they're doing doesn't even seem that bad. They're spray painting a paper. What was that? I don't know. It sounded like a ringtone. You know, if I wasn't mistaken, I'd say that sounded like Mrs. Brunel's ringtone. No. <laughs> She's crazy. Just not that crazy. Right, right. <laughs> all right, so... They wouldn't check? Bitch, I'm gonna check around the car. What, did they all think they heard the same thing miraculously? The OSG for the sub. Bro, what the when fuck? When are we planning on pulling this thing off? Oh, well, I talked to the janitor, Mike. He said he'd let us in any time. So I was thinking, tomorrow night? Yeah. That sounds yeah, like If a the janitor's in on it, then it's perfectly legal. If, if someone who's working at the school is allowing you to do it, it's fine. Plan? All right, let's do it. All right, let's go back inside and figure out the rest of the details. Let's do it. I got it. <laughs> this looks like a pretty shitty senior prank if all they're going to do is hang up that sign. Evidence. 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 Yeah, you're searching through his shit. That has to be illegal. Jackpot. I would fist fight her. I would no lie. I would no lie. No lie. I see her sifting through my bag. No, it's over. We're scrapping. We're scrapping in the front yard. Right there. Mrs. Wow. You steal my shit. Hi. Uh, Mrs. Matthews. Were you looking for me? I, uh, did, did Chris do something? I'm terrible at reading my emails. Uh, Jake, no. you can <laughs> He, he just, uh, he, he left something in my classroom. <laughs> yeah. That's... Yeah, it's, uh, it's a pencil. You went all the way to his house to deliver a number two pencil that he left? You came all this way to make sure that Chris got his pencil back? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's so great to see teachers like you going above and beyond for their students. My school put three pigs, pig one, two, and four, and they spent hours trying to find pig three. That is ingenious. Oh, my God. You release three pigs into the school, and you number them one, two, and four, and then they just spend all day looking for three. Yo, that is actually a fucking great prank. Jakey for the 300 bets. That would be hilarious. <laughs> yeah, just doing my job. <laughs> it's people like you that really make a difference in the world for the kids, you know? Aw, yeah, thank you. You're a superstar. I'll make sure that he gets it. Mm -hmm. And I should be seeing you at graduation in a few weeks. Mm -hmm. Yes, certainly. Okay. <laughs> yeah. 
Not if I can help it. I know it's them, I swear. You wouldn't get expelled for it anyway. Senior pranks, like, senior pranks, they might suspend you, but they don't actually care that much. Unless you, like, genuinely vandalize it. Vandalizing it with spray paint. Mm hmm. Well, a receipt for spray paint and some other random items. It's not enough for me. Not to enough to suspend or convict people. Also, you should ask how she fucking came upon getting the receipt for their spray paint. She fucking stalked them. <gasps> Oh my god! K Casey oh how do you say it? Casey or Cassie of King? Fifty fucking gifted subs. Dude. They're just gonna surprise her for her birthday. They might, dude. It might be something that's not even bad. Case Casey Cassie of King? Fifty fucking gifted subs. Holy shit. Thank them if you got a sub. That is fucking insane. Thank you. Oh my god. That is so many fucking subs. That is actually so many fucking subs. Did they say anything? Slash user Casey of King. They only typed one message. Are they in my chat? Thank- if you're still- I- I would assume- oh, you're here. Okay, you're here, you're here, here. You have one chat. Do you- you can say anything. You can type something, I'll read it. Oh my god, thank you for the 50 gifted. Thank them if you got the subs, that is fucking insane. Oh my god, that was out of nowhere. Suspend them. And thank you. I'll let you get this receipt. Anyway. Oh, we just asked. Oh, um... It fell out of one of the students' pockets. Well, uh, for all we know, they're doing a home improvement project <laughs> besides... My it. bad, bro. I just watch you. Yes, I'm still here. Dude, you don't need to say my bad. I was just saying if you want to if you wanna type something, I can I can read it. Um, I didn't know if you wanted to type anything with the gifteds, because gifteds, you can't get a message out with it, only with uh, bits. But thank you. You're a fucking beast. Dub in the chat. Casey of King. Cassie of King? Casey of King? Oh, I didn't tab out that. That's your profile. My bad. Thank you for the gifteds. I don't really type. That's fine. You don't need to type. You could just be a viewer. A lot of people in my Twitch chat are just viewers. Actual dub. Thank you for the gifteds. That is insane. Wooly plays for the sub hole in the wall for the sub. Thank you. The receipt. The TikTok song is back. Yeah, I know. Circumstantial at best. Oh, I know they're up to something. Well, look. Unless you can bring me more. Oh, I'll type, um, I love big men. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, I love big. Oh, my God. Concrete evidence. Well, conversation over. Fine. This doesn't even really look like a principal's office. This looks like a pretty shitty principal's office. Mike, give us the all clear? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It should be opening in three, two, one. Did you guys hear that? She's obviously there, bro. Probably just the win. Also, fun. why would a teacher care this much? I feel like no teacher would give two fucks about this. You know what I mean? Do you play Rust? Uh, no, I used to watch Rust a lot, though, but I do want to try it out. I just feel like I would suck at it, and I know I know it's, like, full of sweat. I would have to get good at it. Um, but, dude, like, no no streamers would, or no, not streamers, no teachers would care. Bryce Boy, the, the school stuff. is haunted. <laughs> yeah, haunted by Miss Brunel. <laughs> All right, come on, let's get in here before we... Twenty five more subs. What the fuck? What the fuck? Oh my god. Pain pain apple for the sub. Dude, Casey. Cassie, how do you say it? Is it Cassie? I would assume it's Cassie. Just because it's a K, not a C. Haunted chicken for the five gifteds too. W gifteds from everyone. K 
Cassie for the fucking 25 gifted. Haunted Chicken for the 5 gifted. Oh my god! Dub in the chat. Thank you guys for the subs. That is insane. That is actually insane. Oh my god. god. That is so many fucking subs. Thank you. That means a lot, actually. Bro, you really gonna call 911? They let them yes, in. Yes, I'd like to report a break in at Melrose High School. They didn't break in. Three no. students dressed in black. Yes. Xfinity for the sub. Please send someone right away. Thank you. I'd like to report a break in. Oh, they're probably doing something nice. How much you in a bet they're doing oh, something geez. nice? Text Principal Thompson. They just broke into the school. If you use Siri to text, you know you're a boomer. Pain Apple for the two gifteds. Thank you. Dude, that is actually so many subs in one stream we've gotten. Cassie, you're a beast. Oh, not Cassie. Oh, wait. Not Casey. It's my dog's name. So how do you say it? Not Cassie. So it's Casey. Oh, my God. Type it out in syllables. It's your dog's name. Oh. Okay. Yeah, no, if you use Siri to tax, you're a boomer. Cops called. Come now. Send. Cops called. Jeez. Come now. This is concrete Send. for you. Okay, okay, I think here is good. Hey, what about the ceiling? I don't know, craze for the 10 gifted, bro. I don't know, craze underscore QWQ. For the 10 gifted subs. Thank you. That is a lot of subs. A lot of subs, dude. Oh, he's got the you guys don't have to keep gifting. It's fine. Thank you for the fucking gifted, bro. I don't know craze for the 10 gifted. Stop right there. If you will, please. And remove your mask. Bro's in did his you three PJs. think you could outsmart me? How did you know we were here? Well, I was about ready to go to bed. Mrs. Brunel called me, said you guys were three of you down here breaking in and gonna vandalize the school. You kids know that breaking and entering and defacing public property is a serious crime, right? But, but we didn't break in. The, the janitor let us in. Oh. And we weren't gonna deface anything. Then explain this. It was supposed to be a surprise. Oh, surprise. A senior prank does not- Yo, she's a bitch. Like, definition bitch. Like, no cap. Like, actually pissing me off. Like, actually pissing me off. Like, no cap, bro. This is actually annoying me. Jenny for the five gifted. Thank you for the five gifted subs. Dub. Count as a surprise. Prank? What W prank? in the chat. Thank you for the five Oh, gifted. Chris, don't play dumb with me. What is this? What? This. No. Look what oh, these delinquents It's going to be something did. nice. Wow, that, that's absolutely beautiful. Beautiful? In all my years, I have never seen anyone do something nice as a senior prank. <laughs> <laughs> nice? They went behind our backs. You, you arrest them. Ooh, I would, nah, nah, since they're already there, I'm about to throw down and get arrested, bro. Like, no cap. That's actually pissing me the fuck off. That's actually pissing me the fuck off. Oh my god, bro. Fire her. Fire her. Fire her. Literally fire her. Oh my god, L2. The janitor to let him in, and this is all there is to see. There's not much we can do for you, man. This isn't a criminal matter. Criminal matter? Then you do something. Yeah, of course, of course. Of course, yeah. you're fired. Uh. You know, I I think I'm I'm gonna give him a hand. <laughs> oh, thank you. Right on. All I right. Got the okay, perfect, perfect. Yeah, let's hang it right here. Okay. <laughs> oh, this is great. This doesn't make sense. It, they snuck around. They lied. To do something nice. Everyone, stay here. We'll check it out. Hey, show yourself. Really? You're the one? Pa 
plotting to pull off the senior prank? No, 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 this makes no sense. You're... Oh, he's the bad one! Yo! I literally called that shit. I literally called that shit. Classic Darman. Classic Darman. You're an... By himself? Student, you... You never talk out of turn. Arthur, you're valedictorian. Why would you do something like this? Like every he put balloons somewhere and threw graffiti and threw like stringers. Who cares? One sees me as a nerd, a, a teacher's pet, a goody two shoes. No, we don't see you like that. Yeah, well, maybe you guys don't, but a lot of other kids do. And so I, I, I wanted to do something to to show everyone that that I'm I'm not lame. Well, this is a pretty lame I prank. You should have released pigs into the school titled one, two, and four. That would have been giga shad. I can be cool, too. So, like, in other words, you just wanted people to stop making assumptions about you? Exactly. Well, you know, Miss Brunel, maybe if you spent less time spying on us and more time reading the book you assigned, you'd know... Not to make assumptions about people. Yeah! Yeah! And while I'm there, dude, no cap, I would say, while I'm here, you're a fucking bitch. And then I would walk out. I would say, we got two days left. You can fail my ass. I don't give two fucks. You're a bitch. And then I would leave. You're right. <laughs> I would not give two fucks. I would say, you're a dickhead. And I'm sorry. Gentlemen, I think we can handle this. Right, thanks. Fucking fire her. She stalked the students. <laughs> and tried to get them arrested. Enjoy the commencement. Well... <laughs> well, if that's the why are they wearing the masks guy, if they're not doing anything wrong? I don't know, Starman, bro. So I think you know oh, we can go home and deal with this in the morning. So I'm not in trouble. I didn't say that. No, we need to get some of this mess cleaned up because the students have to have some. <laughs> Should I go to your office now? I think that would be the safest option. Let's go. Dub. 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 How did that even work? I have no idea where that water came from. I have no idea where that water came from. Where Where did that water even appear from? Oh, um, just checking in about before. Is that a no on getting the extra credit? That's a no. Get Rip. out. Yep. What's up, Gordo? Alright, that was a good video. W stream. W stream. I'm gonna be uploading a YouTube video after we raid. So after we uh raid somebody, you can go check that out as well. Um Who do we raid? Who do we raid? I'm looking at my follow. Oh, Zeusy's doing a subathon. Oh, we gotta raid Zeusy. Oh, we gotta raid Zeusy. Oh, we gotta raid Zeusy. He's doing a subathon, bro. Five day subathon cap. Zeusy AF. Um. All right. I will be live tomorrow. Tomorrow we're gonna be finishing the stray. All right. Devoted for the 300 bits energy sponsor. When I'm posting that as well. When I'm done uh, streaming. When I'm done streaming, I'm going to be posting the, the little energy sponsor on TikTok. I'm going to be posting on YouTube. Uh, not the energy sponsor, just a base YouTube video. But, um, yeah. Uh, tomorrow, we're going to be finishing The Stray. Tuesday, I'm off. Wednesday, we're going to continue Walking Dead Season 4. Thursday is a charity stream. Friday, we're going to be doing reactions. You can do join the exclamation point Discord uh, and uh, send videos for me to react to in the video suggestion tab. Uh, exclamation point Discord. Uh, and it should link it for you to join. Um... Then Saturday, I don't know what we're going to do yet. Probably switch sports Sunday, next Sunday, reactions. Then we'll go from there. I don't think I need to talk about my schedule that far in advance. But tomorrow, Stray. Tuesday off. Wednesday, uh, Walking Dead Season 4 continuing. Thursday, charity stream. Uh, but yeah, I will see you guys later. Thank you for everybody that came into the stream. We had a great audience. Almost 5K people right now. Uh, good view count the entire way through. Thank you for everybody that came into the stream. And I will see you guys later. Uh, tomorrow at 2 p.m. EST, I will be live. I will see you guys then. We are going to raid in 5, 4, Three, two, one.